Yeah. Ooh. Wild Indian, wild Indian, yeah. yeah. Hey, V, line them up. I'm a wild Indian, you know I go crazy. I ain't really Indian, that boy you gazy. I just keep it player, you can never play me. You got an ass so fat, girl, let's make a baby. And another one. Then I'm back to the trap, I'm trying double sun. She a bad woke chick and I love her tongue. We some jurisdiction boys, we some one of ones. Look, don't compare me to no Martin dog. I'm like Malcolm X. Die by our freedom, we'll leave a crack and stretch. Round of applause, boy, you know we clapping text. Chucky dog, child play, yeah, nigga, that's what's next. I open up the cans just like Arizona. Pull up mad stuff like we got the Rona. Set up jurisdictions when we buy the corner. How you claiming that's your hood and you not the owner? Be the B, I just pulled up in the need for speed. Free the land, tell the colonizers that they need to leave. Wild Indian up in my veins, you know how we bleed. You ain't gotta lie about who we is, dog, just keep it G. We at war, we can't keep the peace. Since we at war, gotta keep the Peace, whack a cone, then I meditate. Should I need to breathe? Keep an old Mac head when we slide down, cause we the sheep. Like my nigga said, bitch, we the sheep. I can't keep the peace. If it pop off, then I want a piece. I'm just on release. I'm in go mode, motherfucker thief. In these streets like EBT, when we at war, make peace with me. I don't give a damn, understand. Fuck who stole this land. White or black or tan, understand. It's fuck who stole this land. Might have seen me get little buddy these hands. He wasn't no Abbo man. A lot of these dudes is Sambo man. They full of shit like my ammo can. What they call an N word, out the wrong mouth as an ambulance. Wild Indian, get it in advance. Or you can post dated. Ask around, I'm the most hated. Straight sacred, they so acres. Yo, ape shit, show ain't shit. It won't be televised, I don't tape shit. Be the B, I just pulled up in the need for speed. Free the land, tell the colonizers that they need to leave. Wild Indian up in my veins, you know how we bleed. You ain't gotta lie about who we is, dog, just keep it G. We at war, we can't keep the peace. Since we at war, gotta keep the peace. Whack a cone, then I meditate. Should I need to breathe? Keep an Omec head when we slide, dog, cause we the sheep. All right, all right. That's how we do it, guys. All right, all right, all right. right. Guys and girls. Oh, all right. So, welcome to Astro Chads 2024. This is going to be a monthly series kicking off the beginning of each zodiac sign. And we're starting with the zodiacal new year right now, the spring equinox. So, Aries. And we've got, uh, you know, great panel here. We've got a familiar Chad down here. We've got Al Diggity Dog, author of The Charter. And uh, he's a familiar Chad. So you guys have seen our Astro Chad series where we went through the Astro etymology. And uh, we're going to be getting into some good stuff. This is going to be monthly. So Al Dog, how are we feeling? Astro Chad's is so fucking back you guys <laughs> and we're growing and today i mean shout out to spencer shout out to jimmy shout out of course to dr narco longo and all the old world florida people in the chat like what's up we're back this is perhaps the most aries day in the news ever it's mm -hmm. i mean candace owens fired we have a large fiery blast in Moscow. I mean, it just, it just couldn't be any more Aries. Like it couldn't be. Yeah, Sorry. for sure. Bullets are flying, guns blazing. You've got bombs dropping, blood in the streets, people getting ousted. Um, man, so we've got a little bit of a you know, world current events, but we're going to be talking a lot about Aries, the sign of Aries itself, right? The spring equinox, what that entails, some myths, dispelling myths about astrology, you know, when the true new year is, 
where spring I'm... spring gets its energy and the mythology and all that how it ties in and yes we might get into the red heifer a little bit and why that's <laughs> timed for april you know and um basically aries we've got to start off with the name always whenever you're talking about something you start out with the name of what you're talking about where did the name come from aries is the first sign of the zodiac you will note that april is the first month of the year now hang on i thought january was the first month of the year oh god here we go well we've got it wrong guys we start our year at the wrong time now that's a whole story whole rabbit hole for another time but why is september the ninth month instead of the seventh as in its name why is october the 10th month instead of october it's not because of you know caesar this or caesar that or you know oh 10 and then they fit two more in guys 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 if there's any deception it's lack of astrological literacy that's the number one deception that's the one that's the wool that they pull over everyone's eyes that lets them spin any tale they want to there's only one word of god that cannot not change cannot be rewritten that's written in the stars psalms 19 you know nice. let the heavens let the heavens declare the glory of god they show it his handiwork that's his greatest testament that's his as Ken Hoban said, Adam and Eve didn't have a printing press. They didn't have a, you know, an inkwell. So God wrote the scriptures in the stars for all Amen. men to see. Mm. So finally. This is Astro Chads is for Christians. It is for Chads. It's for Chadettes. <laughs> it's astrology by men, for men, as it says in the description there. And, you know, the days of blue-haired, chubby, feminist, barista, ex-girlfriend, astrologers, <laughs> is on. done. It's through. That age is over. Okay? We are in the dawning of the age of the astrologically literate man. The conqueror of his business enterprises. The conqueror of his athletic opponents via not treachery not trickery astrological aptitude okay people love their little stats people love their little you know baseball cards this and that all that autistic you know wasted brain space could be <laughs> perfectly spent on mm, astrological okay. you know meter i think it's doable i think that boys have a knack for astrology but blah 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 it's ripe that we talk about boys and men because aries is arguably the most astrological you know it's the most masculine sign of the zodiac some would argue really yes aries undoubtedly ruled by mars and i guess this will loop back to why we're talking about the name aries is both april and march and i raised the question of why do we have the seventh month instead of the ninth why is september the ninth month instead of the seventh well it's because we begin our year in january we should not be beginning our year in january now there's some significance to the winter solstice but there's little to no significance to january first so and in fact it's a time of the zodiac which hate to say it mythologically is associated with death decay withering away frozen slavery industrial servitude especially oh yeah capricorn dead of winter now the solstice is sacred don't get me wrong but we should be celebrating a, a birth a you know momentous burst of energy which is found on the spring equinox it is the ultimate explosion of life force energy on the world stage in nature in geopolitics as, as you know we've kind of touched on so why the seventh september's named the seventh month but not the ninth because we should be starting our year in march yes march 
Yeah, that's right. March. <laughs> okay. Yeah. March. So March, when we begin in March, we're going to see the trickery is washed away. The deceit is done away with. Pay attention. Trust in astrological literacy. Trust that it is, you know, going to help you understand God and you'll all be able to work this out. September. We're going to answer this right now. March 1. April. May. June. July. August. Uh-oh. September. That's seven. Illuminati deception. You know. Done away with. October. November. December. Guys, astrology is the answer. Ooh, no, no one else can tell you this. Oh, they can complain about, oh, Caesar did this, and then, you know, they added this month, and... Julius and Augustus? Confusion. Confusion. Astrologers are not confused. That's mm -hmm. the ultimate foundation for, yeah. for re religious understanding. Okay. So, when we begin in March, you have March and April. Together, since we begin our, you know, our months halfway through a zodiacal sign, you've got this skewed 10 day off, you know, the, you have two months in each zodiac sign. It's kind of meant to be confusing. And by the way, the calendar plagiarizes astrology, takes its framework, takes the, you know, rigidity of it, but does away entirely with the religion, the mythology the essence of it so the calendar is astrology that's why you have your 12 months you know 30 days you guys get it so march is the first month and we're going to see how this is evidently associated with mars aries where does the word march come from mm. mars Mars is the god of war. <laughs> what do soldiers do? They march with their arms, march. marching down the streets, marching on patrol. Okay, so we get it. There's a lot to this wordplay, guys. Pay attention. So you're marching down the streets, but we asked, what does Aries mean? Well, not only does Aries represent the equinox this beginning of springtime the springing up right of the sun and life vegetation but it's also the represents the sunlight and the sunrise in the micro <clears throat> so in the micro it rules sun sunrise the rising of the sun in the macro, it rules the rising of the sun, as in the equinox, when the sun begins to take uh, larger and larger portions of the day, begins conquering the kingdom of heaven. It's the sun. So, spring and sunrise go hand in hand, just as sunset and Libra go hand in hand, and the fall equinox. <clears throat> fall an angel okay autumn a tomb tomb of the sun when the sun is entombed mm. so aries is the antithesis to that aries is rising sunset libra opposite aries rising arise the sun arises the sun the son of god arose you know after being dead so this is where you get aries arise also in the word Aries, we get a hint at the qualities of this zodiacal sign and the people born under it. In the word Aries, you have arid, airy, arid, hot and dry. This is the essence of Aries. These people are hot, hot-headed, dry, and they tend to... Um, that's the time, you know, that's what springtime brings too. It's heating up, the the snow melts away, and you get dry patches of land. You're able to run through the fields again. So it's a time for athleticism, and you know, 
some people who might not be super active when they've been stuck inside for a long time, you have a long winter, you're very keen on getting outside when you see the first sunrise. That is that Aryan, Aries impulse. That's like the sun is here. It's beckoning you to go exert yourself. That's Aries. So Aries, arid, rise, just in the name, you have the qualities here. You can teach yourself with the names of, of each of the zodiac signs. Marching, you see Mars. And we're going to get into war and Mars. Mars is the god of war. War happens to be raw backwards. War, raw. Raw, which some would say right ascension. Right ascension is abbreviated as raw. The sun's position up in the sky. Ra is the Egyptian name for the sun. Ra is where you get radiate, radiation, you know, rabid, ram, rapid, ram, even another R word that, you know, why are rap artists so violent and lustful? Male lust, not female lust, male lust. Rapid. So. Mar-a-Lago. Hey, Mar-a-Lago, there's a Florida reference. Mar, Mars, March. Mar so you've got Aries, Arid, Arise, Mars, March, Ra, and Mars. When you take Mar and flip the M, we get War. So War and Ra backwards. Ram and, sorry, Jump the gun on that one. Ram is the last word that fits into this kind of, you know, uh, flowering out of the word raw. Raw meat. What does raw meat entail? Iron and blood. Aries rules iron. Aries rules blood. Aries rules red. So you have raw. That you say, I want my steak raw. You're saying it. I want it, you know, like it just got massacred like blood still dripping yeah and raw r-a-w war and then mar and ram see these are fractal fractal linguistic ties between these words all having to do with mars so what do you Aries, mean by fractal what do you mean by fractal linguistic ties like raw flips in a mirror into war yeah. okay ram in a mirror yeah. flips into mar okay and that's where you get your fract okay. and then you can flip them upside down and you get bar war so, like so raw, long ago, ram. I had, yeah i had um a few things pop into my mind that are really gonna sort of blow people's minds because it's like something we see every day like, firstly, I thought of the Star Wars character, Darth Maul. Ooh. Right? He's a very violent, mm -hmm. warlike creature. But then right. I thought of uh, WWF. Dude, they used to literally say, Raw is war. Monday Night Raw. <laughs> oh, shit, yeah. They, they mm -hmm. used to say, just Raw is war. They said that every Monday night. So, yeah. wow. Yeah. Darth Raw. Maul. Red. Definitely red. Oh, yeah, he's red. I Crazy. just saw you mentioned rappers. Rop. Ra, ap, rap, rap, yeah. music. Rap. And then, you know, Ram Das, <laughs> Aries, if I'm not mistaken. He's got a nickname, that guy, doesn't he? Yeah. You guys know uh, Ram Das, the guru? Yeah. You know about him? You know, great teacher. Yeah, <laughs> show of thumbs out there who knows uh, who Ram Das is. Oh, I told this joke to Eldar. It's stale, dude. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Dude, I think go for it just because he, it's funny. It's he like doesn't really sit down thing. much. He never. He's always standing. He doesn't sit down. This guy. Yeah. <laughs> so Ram Das, show show of thumbs if you know who Ram Das is, guys. Ram Das, you know, great holy man, teacher, guru. Right. He happened to be gay, and. 
the <laughs> name Ram Das uh, was given to him by a guru. <laughs> and I couldn't help but notice, wait, hang on, you know, his, you know, his pre romantic preferences, the name given by a guru. I was like, hang on, we've been mispronouncing it this whole time. It's rammed ass. <laughs> R-A-M-D-A-S-S. -S. That's... His, his name is rammed ass. That's, that escalated quickly. <laughs> Ram Das. He's an Aries, so uh, of course, those gurus. Imagine having to sign that everywhere you go. Is your trickster. Name? Funny. I'm sure it's your gurus. name. Now the guru said it, right? These yep. cheeky, Blame cheeky it on the gurus. Blame it on the guru. Yeah. So here with Aries, I just want to get into some more words that sum up the essence of Aries. You've got arid arise but then we've also got arrogant <laughs> arrogant aries are arrogant 100 percent. in fact they also rule when you say arms arms that's another one of those anagram words for ram war mar arms bear arms that's talking about mars armaments armed armaments yep that's all rams that's ram that is aries aries rules warfare 100 percent. arrogance you know rams are headstrong they are arrogant because they run into things they're also aries is the most guys big one right here aries is the most foolish sign of the zodiac why? Because they act quickly, just off of. Mm. Yes, they rush in. Impulse, their their confidence, instinct. their confidence can be a little too much for them sometimes. That has got me beat up so many times. It's do before think. Yeah, do before think is the essence. Uh, the not, not really. I take that back. Now, so also, you, you could say we have a lot of errors. Oh, error. That's errors. a good one. Errors. One million Whoa, percent. Dude. That's very really true. Good one. Shelia, I don't have that one written down. Thank you, Shelia. We just rush into things, then you mm -hmm. make errors. Well, rush, yes, rush comes from rus, which means red. So right. it's all one and the same, one hundred percent. Rise, rush, rays, rays of the sun, ra, all Aries. Aries is where the sun exalts. In astrology, you say a certain sign is ruled by a certain planet. That's like having a patron saint of that sign. You could say a uh, planet is where this sign gets its energy, its characteristics. But um, just moving on in terms of Mars and March, because March is Aries. Also, April. Where does the word April come from? April means to open. So even though it's the second month, or the fourth month, I guess. Even though it's the second month of the zodiacal year, it's still the first zodiac sign. So it's marching to war and abra, abra, abra. abra abrir to open, abracadabra to be Abraham. To open. Yes, Abraham is a martial archetype, 100%. Uh, he's got Ram in his name, Brahm, Abraham, Brahman. All ham. interconnected. And he has ham. Ham is in there too. So I also want to get into oh well with March marching to war. This is where we get names like Mark, Marshall, Marshall, you know, law. Martial arts. Martial arts, thank you. Yeah. That's those are practiced by the martial race, East Asia primarily. And Murder even has a link to this phonetic root. Then you have words like ram. You know, ramming has multiple meanings, three at least. You have words like also in Germanic mythology, you don't have Mars. You have tear. That's why in English we have Tuesday. 
So Mars Day is Thursday, Tuesday. In Spanish, it's Martes. Mm. For both of them, Mars and Tes. Tears, Tes. But that's Mars Tuesday. That's your day, Aries. Aries and Scorpio, Tuesday is your day. And Sunday, because the sun exalts in Aries. So Aries is ruled by Mars. That's its patron saint. But then this, the planet that wants to be in Aries the most, that does the best in Aries, is the sun. That's where you get that raw the connection between Mars and the sun is found in Aries. First sign of the zodiac. Russ, Russ, Rasputin? Rasputin? Rasputin. Well, that, you just made me think of rust, which connects to rush. Like Jimmy was saying earlier, it's roost, the red blood. Iron bleeds red. Have you ever seen rain? fall on a rusted you know uh, yeah. tractor or something and see the blood the blood um, dripping on the floor oh yeah did. so uh, oh boss rootin yeah, yeah. you can taste it it's Bye. interesting you say uh rust because it kind of reminds me of russia and yeah. russia has always had this red connotation well yeah there's war there yes. red army for a time mm -hmm. period as well yep conquered by the Rus. mm-hmm mm -hmm. And with Tuesday being Mars Day in English, Tuesday, you have from the word tire, attire, tear, terror, tore to tear, tirade, be tired out, the tires of your car moving quickly, tyranny, tyrant, hello. This is Mars, guys. This is warfare, intimidation, aggression. Yeah. The word war, of course. But um, you've also got uh, words like aggressive, arrive, all Ignatius words. Go back to agony. You know, an acne, too, is a symptom of Aries. Mars, having a prominent Mars in the chart. Mars on the ascendant will, you know, bring acne, inf redness, uh, inflammation. Um, Ignatius, acne, same root word there. Linking back to Aries and Mars. Redness. Aries tend to have, here's another R word, guys, rosiness to them. Aries tend to have a rosy complexion. Sometimes they'll have red, almost like red cheek um, type skin all over their body, like a redness, rosiness to them. But also with Aries, we kind of went through the word a little bit. Some of the qualities of a person born in Aries. Well, Aries tends to be on the more impatient side, they tend to be headstrong, confident, and very assured of themselves, but sometimes lack planning, preparation, and formal methodologies to what they do. Aries rush into things, no doubt. Aries can be hot headed and pick fights. I've been in one fight with an Aries, 100%. They don't back down from fights, okay? They will bring it all the way to the edge. And they are not de-escalators. <laughs> Aries are not de-escalators. You hear your Pisces, you hear your Cancers, Virgos, tend to be, they have to get really pushed over at the edge to pop off. They tend to be a de-escalator, you know. They'd like to settle it back down. Dude, right. that, that was great with the uh, 1800s um, article on the Zodiac signs and the police recruitment tactics. Mm. It would have been over a while back. Remember that? That was pretty cool. For de-escalation. So, Aries tend to be aggressive, 100%. In some way or another, they are aggressive. They are risk takers aries are also some of the best door openers they know how to get doors open 
Aries know how to start things, but they don't really know how to finish them. This is definitely an Aries stereotype, is starting things and not finishing them. Aries is also, like I said, foolish, but that also has to do with their childlike innocence. Aries is considered the infant of the zodiac. That might be where you have a link between infant and inferno and infirmary. But Aries is very infant like. They're like a child. They are, you know, learning as they go, like a child, young child. But they also have a innocence, like a appreciation, childlike appreciation of life. Often they tend to stay young in soul, in spirit. Aries are dry, like we were saying, arrogant, arid. Aries can inspire at aggression in others this is a very common um symptom of aries i've had close aries friends i've had large friend groups sometimes the aries just rubs a ton of people the wrong way just by being themselves sometimes louder not always abrasive that's another big aries word abrasive april abrasive same root word right there so aries are abrasive one million percent they don't know if they're offending someone they can be oblivious to like sexual etiquette one thousand <laughs> percent jimmy's nodding his head yeah it's just so true <laughs> <laughs> dude you it's, know what's true it's crazy Dude, you know it's true. Oh. Aries got big foreheads, and you got. Oh yeah! Got Look at this. I got a whiteboard. Let's go. Absolutely. Let's that thing's gonna ram. Something. Yep. <laughs> That's right. It's ready to go. To eventually was born. Could we pull up a picture of Peyton Manning, please? <laughs> or the or the hey. Undertaker. Sure. Or just. Please, thank you. And then uh, Basically, while you were talking, Longo, I couldn't think of, I couldn't help but think of Eric the Red, the ooh, legendary yeah. Viking. Yeah. Could it get any more fucking Aries than Eric the Red? You know what I mean? That's yep. crazy. Yep. Eric, for sure. Um, some say that Aries rules hair. Some would mm. say that Leo rules hair and, mm. and the beard. But there's debate. Those are the two solar signs of the zodiac, and hair is undoubt, undeniably solar. It's like your rays, you know, of, of your head is the sun. So there's debate, but some would say Aries rules your hair, and Leo rules the beard, right? Because it's more like the mane. But yeah. Aries rules the head. We can. Everyone's in agreement about that. Aries is the top. It's the top of the morning to you. You take your hat off. You don't take your shoes off, right? When you say hello, when you greet, you take your hat off. That's Aries saying hello. And in fact, why do you say hello? Hello. <laughs> Helio. Hello. Halo. Helio. Hello. You know, this is Hellenic. This is the sun. This is Helen. Hello, you're greeting like the sun rising. It's a pleasant, warm greeting. You don't say um, whatever. You guys get the idea. Do you yeah. know what I just like? I think is the most Aries state. What Arizona? Yes, it's dry. Aries. It's hot. It's the arid zone. Yeah. Yes. Uh, oh my gosh. Phoenix, Arizona. They got this big red uh, bird. <laughs> oh on? yes. It's like a big yeah. red rock. Yeah. Red rocks. The rocks are all red. It's like planet. It's like planet Mars over there. It's oh, like NASA live stream. Is that might be where the yeah, they, That's probably where the rover's at. For real. They probably have a rover's like side site. One million percent. But um, you know, Aries. What else can we say about them? The men tend to be masculine, like Elton John. But. <laughs> The, the men, Aries men tend to be masculine, but, and Jimmy earmuffs on this, take a, you know, tend to be 
def they defer to their girlfriends. They defer to female sure. authority because they're very secure in terms of like masculine social hierarchy. That's more right. what they're pre preoccupied with. They are who, the ones who are actually most down for, um, you know, matriarchal rule. And I'm not saying that to pick on anyone. I'm saying that the Bach saga, which is Finnish mythology, says that all men were originally born timed. Their births were timed for mm. Aries in right. the Ice Age, particularly. Yep. Now, that was because we, there were matriarchal times and the men had to be strong and kind of expendable. And, yep. and they, had to, they had to brave a lot of danger in a you know uh foreign world and That's aries right. were aries were best suited for literally sticking it out and just bare grillsing staying alive for like thousands of years they wanted an armies of air an army of aries mm. now mm. that being said what do we see they thrived off of leaving space for female you know rule but then also, because we're going to notice Aries is right next to Taurus, which is the most feminine sign of the zodiac. So it's the most masculine in terms of qualities and mythology. But then you see, I mean, they're the god of war. Don't get me wrong. They're the most aggressive. They tend to be the ones who can do best in the gym, too. Aries can just unlock that Apollo martial mars energy um with leanness too not necessarily mass uh, aries do the best with lean muscle mass they can be very tendony and thin and light and agile that's another aries word but um aries are super fast i remember growing up um growing up i was the you know third maybe fourth fastest kid in my class right the kids that were faster two of them were aries so that tells mm. you something aries are quick they're runners you know mm. uh one of our friends who is a aries was called like speedy gonzalez like speedy yeah. like he was literally known for like his speed like even outside of um like you know sports like in the classroom and stuff so it's true it's true not just for the schoolyard you look at professional sports aries just excel aries are thriving they dominate in the nfl they dominate in professional wrestling not that that matters but they just they give the they give the persona of like i'm the biggest baddest dude in town like look at me Hey, hey, Longo, do you think they're fast because they're aerodynamic? Oh, oh aero. that's a good one. Yeah. <laughs> I think they, that might be yes. something to that. So. Aero. Yeah, and, and thin, live. Yeah. Aero, you also get erotic. Aero. And Mars, you'll notice like Hugh Hefner, the, the playboy symbol is the, um, you know, the Bunny. rabbit. Raw bit. Rabbit quick, agile, fast, and they reproduce like crazy. But you've also got the Mars symbol goes hand in hand with like the Playboy, like yeah. sex, like seventies sex brand, like the play, uh, Austin Powers. Yeah, he you was know, a big Mars. That's the Mars symbol. So the Aries symbol also is the um, the ram's horns. I I would not say that's the uterus. I tend to go with bullhead for the uterus. It's all in the etymology. You know, there's no denying it. But Aries looks like one of those I what do they call them? IUDs? <laughs> copper things. It's literally yeah. the symbol of Aries. So that's copper. It could be the bull's head because Taurus rules copper. So we're gonna get into that more with reproductive, female reproductive system in Taurus. Aries tends to be very associated with the male reproductive system. The prick, the prod, the arrow, the pointed tip, 
that is the symbol of Aries. And in the digital world, that's how you, you know, mark a masculine member is with uh, an arrow, right? So that's Aries, arrow, eros, Greek, you know, erotic love comes from that root, eros, almost the same root as error, right? All Aries, Aries concepts. Aries rules masculine lust. Like wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. You know, another R, R wording, R, A word that we all know, can't say on YouTube too much. Raw, rapid. Okay. <laughs> so Mars rules like this uh, charisma also. Mars rules charisma. It's a little bit between the sun and Mars. Very much an Aryan concept. Charisma. Char. Rise, ma, charisma. Where's the Riz, guys? Aries. Riz. Aries got the Riz. Now, Sagittarius is a bit of a Riz, Riz monster themselves, but uh, <laughs> Aries is the first, is the first uh, zodiac sign. Aries. So you've got fire. Is Fire signs is where you get charisma. Char charismatic that's fire so biochar charismatic hey uh lady gaga's in aries and she's got bad romance rah rah, rah, rah. oh mm -hmm. that's a and good one that's probably and gaga she's gaga she's a baby baby she, gaga she she's lady gaga yeah she's baby gaga <laughs> <laughs> she's very aggressive hilarious. Very She's gonna get her face poked by an arrow, perhaps. Whoa, poker face, dude! Mm. Dude, <laughs> poker face. fuck the the chads are bringing the heat. Yeah, dude, on the fly. Let's go, dude. Once the chads know astrology, it's over. It's over for the bad dude, guys. Don't make me pull up this uh, Spotify list. <laughs> if we want to know how Aries sounds, guys, I hope I did a good job. You know, I'll throw it in if I think of more personality traits. Um, women, Aries, I, we should say that before we list off some artists. Women, Aries. Your women, Aries, guys, they're confident and brave, too, and headstrong. And unfortunately, I love Aries women. You know, super exciting. With super life of the party, super rambunctious, super risk taking, but they often get a, as you'd expect, a reputation for being on the more masculine side. They tend to be sometimes go getters or the bread winners because the women, a female as an Aries, they still have that competitive drive a little bit, and that doesn't always sit well with some men so with aries you also get kind of a more masculine aesthetic they tend to wear your like combat boots choker like uh black get up a little bit more a little more intimidating like wwe style um <laughs> basically that whole combat vibe where they just wear black everyone knows what i'm talking about the high school mm -hmm. whatever just a little more masculine intimidating dress that you can yeah butch i guess people say not so much butch as like granola style it's more like kate Be kate beckinsale like doomsday leather you know vampire teeth black accentuation red accentuation that's lady gaga so, so yeah, just heavy that makeup. Aries women, Aries women are more straight to the point, so they're more likely to get rammed quicker. <laughs> Would you agree yes. with that? Is that okay. Yes. They jump yeah. right in. Okay, that's what it seems like. You were kind of hinting at it. I'm like, ah, uh, well. No, Aries are okay. Since we're yeah, this is Astro Chad, so yeah, girls. Yeah. Any any girl girl fans out there? See, make, make sure my girlfriend's not in here. Um, <laughs> Aries are initiators. Aries women, if you, you know, like the ultimate, like Googled, like male fantasy is like girl 
who like wants sex more than you know like the girl the guy that she's with that's your aries aries are like you know they're on it they want it more than men do a lot of the time let's just say that if we may generalize aries are initiators they want to get in there their their romantic tactics are very much masculine and borderline predatory okay aries women just to give a story you know it it, it gives uh insight you know one of my earliest you know uh like girlfriends was an aries that was a year older than me okay and completely like shamelessly dated down into the <laughs> like my class and like took me on dates and like picked me up in her car <laughs> and stuff like it was just a very like masculine she was smoking hot by the way ended up becoming lesbian and a famous mm. semi-famous lesbian youtuber but um whoa yeah Dude, that, that makes sense though because they they um they might experience male partners quick quickly and they go travel fast within these relationships then after a while they become you know not so interested in men perhaps yeah That's they can relationships perhaps they can get bored with men Mm -hmm. for sure they can feel maybe more suited for i'm not we're not saying all aries women are you know uh from the island of lesbos but we'll just say they can be maybe they want the war maybe it's too peaceful being with a guy and they want the chaos of female uh you know social hierarchy <laughs> Dr. politics <laughs> the so fascinating i mean a lesbian relationship it must be you know it's, there's a lot of uh fire right there could be some rage yeah. perhaps well, oh dude and that aries you know it's hard to Ra. generalize this stuff but that they aries girls can have conflict with the father because they almost mm. like fit into like a son's role sometimes and son you know son son that's link between those words goes to aries guys aries is the most masculine sign the rule sunrise that's where you get the sun sun you and the o but um drama has the word ram in it good job mercury messenger i like that <laughs> drama drama So <laughs> yeah, drama. That's what I'm saying. So, so at some also point like in the show, that. I have like a, an Aries Mars, like riddle <laughs> for you guys that I want you to think about. I've been thinking about it like all week. Do you guys want to hear it? You guys mm -hmm. ready? Yep. yep. Okay. Yep. So, so for a long time, we talk about uh, the head, right? Aries is the head. Okay. So what's hot in the news nowadays with Aries as the head? Neuralink. Neuralink. Exactly. Uh. Okay. <laughs> so here we go. Here we go, baby. Um, I want to lay this on you guys. So for a while, I've been theorizing that Neuralink is really um, not logistical with a massive population. I think it's more of a metaphorical thing. I don't think it's literal in terms of really? the actual. I don't. In terms of the brain chip within people's heads. I heard you I post. Think, I think that hmm. Twitter.com, now called is, X, is. is Neuralink, right? Right. And this is going to connect with Mars. Just bear with me. So, like, let's Got say hypothetically that Twitter X is Neuralink. It's connecting all these like minds. People are voluntarily uploading their thoughts, their jokes, their hot takes, whatever hot takes, kind of reddish, you know, whatever it may be, right? So they're voluntarily uploading their own consciousness, and they're sort of voluntarily brain chipping themselves, right? All right. Mm. So when we think about that. And then we think about Elon Musk saying oh, that Mars. he's going to bring us to Mars. Yep. Is Elon right. Musk, who hypothetically owns Neuralink or Twitter or X, is he going to bring a lot of these brain chipped folks who are voluntarily fucking 20 times a day telling us their thoughts, mm -hmm. their hot takes? Are these folks potentially brain chipped and Elon Musk 
is going to bring them to Mars. Just, you know what I mean? That's my Aries riddle. For you I guys. like it. Now, now that it reminds me of is, oh, dude, go ahead, Longo. Sorry. I didn't say anything. Go ahead, Spence. Let's go. Baby. Oh, I just, it reminded me of his uh, Halloween costume when he was in all red with the ram on it across, oh, the, yeah. across Bop, the chest. About the met. About the met. Yeah, well, yeah, I guess it was. It literally yeah. said um, New Novus, World Order. Yeah, right? New World, yeah, but it was and just had a bath from that head. He was playing the role, and uh, yeah, yeah, it was pretty, pretty funny, like Iron Man, like a like a Luciferian Iron Man kind of so, vibe, Roman. Al Dog, I had a post similar to exactly what you're saying about six months ago on on Elon Musk. I had like about a two months stint where I was just like, now nah, I don't trust him. I don't like him anymore. It doesn't make me feel right. Didn't I got this bad feeling and I just went with it and I rambled and you were, you are very close to what I was saying. You know, I'm like, this is data collection. This is directing consciousness. He's grabbing a hold of, he's grabbing a hold of a lot of people, bodies and minds, and he's storing the data on his servers and his yeah. el electrical circuits and systems. And he wants to control, he wants to control the information and direct everybody. When you just said Mars, I'm like, ooh, ooh, mm -hmm. Elon Musk. Well, that's right. why he bought it. That's why he bought Twitter as a as his plans to make the everything app X marks the spot, just like in China. And um, that's if if you can get everyone doing all of their things all the time on your one app. That's the most data collection you can possibly imagine and he'll be the next rockefeller you know hmm. data's huh. oil his birthday is june 28th my son's is june 28th and mine's yeah. june 30th he's a he's a cancer so, aries guys it's the first sign of the zodiac first fire sign and it is a cardinal sign right so you'll notice there's cardinal. a poly, poly rhythm within the zodiac there's a kind of a fractal, um, dude. <laughs> what would you call it? A uh, rhythm to the zodiac. You have a masculine, feminine, white and black repeating. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, one, two, one, two. Then you have a threeness. You have Aries. Sorry, you have cardinal. Fixed, shit, <laughs> mutable, cardinal fixed, mutable, cardinal fixed, mutable. That repeats four times. So three repeating four times. Then you have element, fire, earth, water, air. That repeats three times. So you have 12 signs of the zodiac. And each of those rhythms is occurring inside the zodiac. So Aries is the first sign, the first fire sign, the first cardinal sign, right? And the first masculine sign, the first diurnal sign. It is ruled by the day. So, like I said, it's ruled by Mars. It's where you get March, and the sun exalts, sun rises. But what else do we have? You have April Fool's Day in mm. in Aries. This is how we know it's foolish. It's a foolish sign. Okay. And in fact, you have fool's gold. Some would say pyrite. Is whoa, whoa, really stop, pyrite. stop. Fool's Aries. gold. Kate uh, Hudson, the movie Fool's Gold. Yeah. She's in Aries. <laughs> is she? Yep. Nice. Oh, sure. You were in that as well with her, weren't you? Yes. yes. <laughs> yeah. <You were>. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Yes. <laughs> there it is. All right, all right. True right. detective. Please put true detective in your um, handle next time. Say no more. <laughs> I love that movie, man. Oh, Reese Witherspoon. I love that movie, too. She's an Aries. She's an Aries. Total Aries. Big forehead. She, um, she could plow huge. through a, That's a, five plow head. Through a uh, steel door with that thing. Yeah. Um, do it, that, Aries, sweet home um, Alabama. Are Aries airheads sometimes? sometimes? Legally blonde. Yeah. Legally they, can blonde. Be, they can be full of hot air sometimes. Mm -hmm. Aries. Mm. 
Oh yeah. Big hits. Got a big hit. Mm. Aries, you know, Peyton Manning's in Aries. You got a picture of him? I, uh, yeah. Manning, is it? That's the Undertaker. We're gonna see some archetypes uh, here, guys. We're gonna see God the Almighty. Play. This wow. is Peyton Manning. For those yeah. not familiar, he is one of the greatest football quarterbacks of all that, time. Man. Not wow. not not one of the all time great, you know, not one of the few greatest in my opinion, but he's up there, top ten. Um, he is widely considered one of he's considered a great leader above anything else. Would I be correct in saying that Al Dog? He was he had yeah. fire, intensity, and just drive to win. He wasn't yeah. necessarily the most accurate, was not fast, was not the he was headstrong. He was and led from the front. Definitely. And he was definitely directing air traffic because he was the type of quarterback to completely change the play based on what he saw from the defense. He would do Air a lot of audible, control. a lot of fake signals, but yep. he was running the offense, whatever offense that was. It was him, not the great rapid, rapid, point. Oh my God. rapid adjustments, we could say. And he is big forehead, mm. big, big forehead. He looks like so a battering much, ram. So much so, <laughs> yep. So much so that he had to have a, a special helmet made for him every oh. te team that he went to. Wow. Because right. his forehead is so large. Wow. Total Aries quality. Aries, you'll always you'll always see a giveaway in the forehead. It might not always be the biggest forehead, but you'll see either a contorting of the brow, you know, like a angry brow, like a demonic angry brow, or you'll see a furrow in the brow, like a ram's horns being represented mm -hmm. in the brow or near the, the temples and the sides of the forehead. And if you, symbol. can we look at some Klingon? Can you search oh, yeah. uh, the, the Undertaker or some Klingon would be good to look at, please. Then so, I think the other uh, quarterback who's super Aryan is Derek Carr, right? Oh yes, oh dude, perfect. We're gonna go from the Undertaker straight to Derek Carr. People draw parallels with them and don't even realize they're both Aries. So if we look at a shot of his forehead. If we <laughs> <get it. laughs> oh, wow. They, they very much have this predator, like alien predator movie type shape to the head. The um, eyebrows will often extend to the back of the head, like to the sides of the head, like a ram's horn, like they're running down, running across the sides of the forehead to the ears. Yeah. Look at the forehead. Yeah, boom. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, look at the forehead, guys. I mean, <laughs> that's not just a receded hairline. That's a big forehead. Mm -hmm. Now, you'll notice Aries can have like a naturally eye-lined look. I believe he wears eyeliner, but the next gentleman we're going to be talking about does not wear eyeliner. So the, the next guy, well. yeah, the next guy I'd like to talk about is Derek Carr. Derek Carr happens to look precisely like the Undertaker in the face. They have the same face and eyeliner. It's uncanny. Oh, wow. Derek Carr, you also have a similar daring nature in the name. Also, Eric, like Al Dog was saying earlier, Eric the Red. Derek, that's a wonderful Aries name. Um, Derek Carr, also. Not known as the most skilled quarterback, just really brings a lot of intensity and brings like this uh, rabid warrior kind rabid. of desire to win. Rabid. And also Aries in in um, the NFL, this the sign that is most likely to lower the shoulder and just 
get in there and just bear the full brunt of a of a hit contact. Hey, he's number four, April. Good point. Mm. Aries will never shy away from contact. You see this with um, what's his face, Pey- Peyton Manning. You see this with Derek Carr, and you see this with uh, Baker Mayfield. Baker, Aries, baking, hot, dry, arid. Baker, come on, rising, rise the bread in the bakery. Come on, guys. Baker Mayfield is another. Could we look up ba- Baker Mayfield, mm. please, Jimmy? They're headstrong, no doubt. They have a bad boy reputation, too, Aries. Always have this bad boy reputation. What did they call Peyton Manning? The outlaw or the sheriff? Both, right? I don't know. I don't recall. Whatever. They call him Aries. Aries is Fox. His face is posted. So Baker Mayfield is an Aries. You'll see he has some rosiness in the face. He's very aggressive. Mm. He picks fights with larger people. He lowers his shoulder. He's not the biggest guy on the field at all. You know, he's literally like, he's probably, you know, um, you know, he's not that tall. Yeah, what what did they say? Six feet, six feet with cleats. You know, and he's a average sized guy who just has a lot of intensity, mm. heart, and also not the best with the ball, not the best skilled, agile runner, but he just brings intensity. He's, yeah. What, what can you say about what's the common thread, Al Dog, with Derek Carr, Peyton Manning, Baker Mayfield? It's most definitely intensity, but mainly leadership. These yeah. guys want to be at the absolute forefront of what their teams are doing. Yeah. Especially with Baker. Baker's a type of guy that leads from the front in a in a very major way. He has a lot of raw emotion. Mm. Um and he plays the game like it's a war. <laughs> Peyton Manning strategizes, you know, for the like game like war. it's a fucking war. It's not a yeah. game with these dudes. That's the common thread. It's like they do approach it like a war, for sure. Ooh. Oh, that was the crack I, I was looking for. Yeah. There's a, yes. so, a super funny image I'm trying to like find. It's like uh, The Undertaker. And mm. in the background, it says Raw is War. Right? Mm. So it's like the most just fucking Aries thing ever. Shimmy, could we pull up? Klingons from Star Trek, please. Yes. So red, red yeah. is the lowest chakra color, and that would be like reproduction and springtime all coming together. And Mars, it's all coming together just fine for me. Well, I'll tell you, some people get confused by the coloring. Okay. Now, in the color spectrum, red's at the bottom, purple's at the top. No doubt. Yeah. Yeah. But... Red in this instance in the seven spectrum mm-hmm. is the moon. The moon, menstrual blood, monthly blood, the red moon. I've seen a red moon rise. The, bl- the blood moon. It's white and red, the blood moon. Yes. So that's where you get your candy cane, red and white, white stripes. You know, Jack White, he's a cancer, ruled by the men. So Santa Claus. Red and white, that's your ascending from the root chakra up. Root, red, yes, 100%. Same word, but root chakra ruled by the moon. That's why when you moon someone, you show them that part of your body. Mm. This is the moon. It is the largest, palest, most expansive part of your body, you know. You can go on and on. It's the most craterous <laughs> part of your body. Hence <laughs> rammed ass. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's the men. Hmm. But you go up to the top, crown, corona, chronos. And guess what? That's the order. That's the alchemical order. Oh, 
That's hey. the solar system order. Moon, Mercury, Venus, Sun, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn. Arm. The word arm. Those are all quarterbacks. Hmm. Yes. Good point. Quarter. Four. Aries. Oh. Mm. Wow. Quarter. Yeah. And also court. Cortar means to cut in many languages. Quartet. Corto. Cortez. Yeah. Warrior. Corto means short. Kurtz in German. Kurtz means short. So to cut, to cut short. Uh, we're looking at a Klingon. We're looking at a Haitian. Wait, hang on. That's not a Haitian immigrant. Sorry, that's a that's a Klingon uh, warrior for um, Star Trek. Um, <laughs> oh, good lord! Basically, that's so hard for me to look at for extended looking periods. Of time. At a Klingon, Klingons admittedly were modeled after Ares, the furled brow, the angry mm. forehead, the demonic brow. Oh, and what does this oh. remind you guys maybe of? Jimmy, can you look up Hellboy? Hellboy. Yeah, oh, yeah. Please. This is, I love this one, guys. Hellboy. You know, they're so in on it. They know. They're so yeah. in on it. This is so. They know the archetypes. They use them to, to cast their movies. Mm -hmm. All but day long. Let's look at the old Hellboy was, what's his face? Um, I don't know the guy's name. Jewish mafia type guy. Sam Perlman. Ron Perlman. Mm hmm. Ron Perlman. You think of Ron Perlman was the original <laughs> Hellboy. Ares rules hell and boy. Like we were saying, hello, Helios, halo. That's hell. Heat, hot, dry, like Ares. But what do you have? Hell boy. Ares rules boys. So should it surprise us that Hollywood cast an Ares to play Hellboy? No, it shouldn't surprise us. And they've, he's got that. He's got that one giant masturbatory arm, you know, <laughs> that one, that masturbatory appendage. Uh, that's a total Aries move. Aries. Oh well, my god. Aries are fappers, y'all. Sons of anarchy. Aries are like they're like a rabbit stuck in a room with themselves. Okay, guys, <laughs> they're just filthy dogs. Aries is the, the Jimmy. I like this one. Aries is the sign most likely to get caught doing it. Uh, the sign most likely yeah. to get caught, you know, caught in in uh, uncomfortable situations. Aries is the sign most likely to attempt, you know, uh, forays into like public and stuff like that, <laughs> and just risk, you know, danger, a little danger element. Right. He's, he's, he's confirming, dude. He's like, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Boys and girls together, but total habitual ejaculator, <laughs> ejaculators, <laughs> ma masturbatory scoundrels, um, onanists through and through. The ones in Hollywood. This they just like idea. to use their arms, I guess. They're yeah. real. They're they're real Ronald Perlmans, if you know what I'm saying. Making they like pearls. to <laughs> they like to Ron their Perlman. But this is Ron Perlman. He's Hellboy. Well, guess what, guys? He's big. He's red. Jacked. Man, yeah, I'm a big dude. Yeah, Hellboy. Well, then they replaced him with who? I Aries. don't know. They replaced him with someone. They That's replaced him one. with a new guy. Yeah, they replaced him with what? the uh, pedo teacher from Stranger Things. Oh, no. I don't know that guy's name. New Hellboy, if you look that up. Okay. So the old Hellboy, Ron Perlman, is an Aries. The new Hellboy uh, is what's that guy's name? David, David Harbour. Harbour. David Shady Harbour, Bay. yeah. Wow, David Harbour. That, also look, at Aries. look at the brow on David Harbour. He's got yeah. the Klingon brow. Jeez. He's got the, the flared Ooh. corners on Jeez. the eyebrows. They always have these like tips. Aries do like this, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, these horns. It's like if your eyebrows were horns, if you get long enough, yes, you could curl them into horns. Totally, like I can't look at people like that for long periods of time. I'm just telling you guys, like movies, whatever. I just quit watching that shit. I'll walk away from somebody that looks like that. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know. Yeah, I'm telling you, it's instinctive. Sense. True, mm -hmm. 
I, I get agree. pissed. I just I don't get pissed. I just get on. I'm like, oh, I, like, I gotta go. Let's <laughs> look at a let's look at another archetype who's kind of in the news. You know, big big uh, character in today's pop culture, Logan Paul. Oh. He's an Aries. Very he's rosy. He, get, he gets red. If you've ever seen him, you know, he's doing wrestling and all this stuff. He gets way redder than his brother does. He's aggressive, yet Aries oh, yeah. also. Very angular nature to the face. Aries can have this kind of chiseled, angular, almost like fire uh, salamander. I don't know how to not salamander the animal, but like a fire demon. Have you ever seen like just kind of like abstract like uh, fire entities? They have mm. very angular. Pointy. I forget, I forget what the word is. Yeah, pointy features, just kind of devilish spiky. features. Yeah, spiky yeah. features. 100%. Yeah, Shakespeare, an Aryan mm. martial archetype. Hotspur, Percy Hotspur. Here's hot spur spike total Aries martial archetype. But Logan Paul, you'll notice he got everything he does, he gets into really quick. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Now I'm now I'm a professional. Boom, boom, boom. Now I'm doing this professionally. Boom, boom, boom. Now I'm doing this at the top level. And I'm not saying he's he's the greatest at anything. I'm not saying he's hasn't been helped along. I'm, I'm not saying he's not roided out his ass. Dude. But it just Basically. seems like a script. It's the most ridiculous script I've ever seen ever as those boys, honestly. Honestly, I'm, yeah. I'm rooting for Jake Paul, who fights Mike Tyson. I want Jake Paul to beat beat the fuck out of Mike Tyson. I hope he knocks him out. And oh, Why? how dare you? Mike Tyson's old and like whatever. I'm a Jake Paul fan. I think Jake Paul is hilarious. And he's. Um, I think what we have, Jake Paul versus Mike Tyson, we have one of the greatest boxers of all time, Jake Paul. Versus a podcaster, fucking Mike Tyson. So I'm rooting for Jake Paul all the way on that one. Yeah. It would be incredible. Yeah. True. Very red. Yeah, it's pretty, it is kind of like poetic. Jake Paul starts off as a YouTuber. Yeah, yeah, right. Ends up professional fighter. Mike Tyson yeah. was professional fighter and <laughs> is now like pursuing YouTube. Yeah, because I like this dude. It, it was spinal. <laughs> so Final. Logan Paul, you know, Final. aggressive. Final gets ahead of himself. He did the whole suicide thing. That was total Aries. Total doing before <laughs> act, doing before thinking. Total <laughs> yeah. like just sheer like Aries. Aries is the sign. <laughs> Boom, guys. This one's big. Aries is the sign most likely to spend time on like uh, snuff film websites and like. <laughs> Like a uh, crazy shit.com. I got shown e fucked crazy shit, all of that stuff by Aries. Mm -hmm. And then yeah. when I was even younger, I got shown Live Leak, Omegle, um, Two Guys, One Hammer by a different oh. Aries, even younger in middle school. Al Dog, was, how old are you? It was Al always Dog. my two Aries. I'm 33. <laughs> Great. Okay. The first one I remember was Rotten.com, shown by an Aries, just like Longo's saying right now. Yeah. yeah wow. I've, I they like <laughs> gross gore. Aries are all about gore. Dude, Rotten.com and, and Aries put me on that. Yes. And uh, it, there was the thing called um, um, like a thousand ways to die or something. Longo, Aries, yeah. jealousy. I'm not jealous of Aries. Yeah. Not at all. I like Aries. I got plenty of Aries friends. Um, Aries are good, man. You want Aries on your side. Aries is the sign you sneak into a sneak into a facility with. Aries is the sign you want, you know. Uh, sneak into a facility with? <laughs> yeah. To do Aries what? is the sign that you get into dangerable, you know, dangerous. Uh, Absolutely, I'll go endeavors with. That. with. Yeah. Because you need someone to make a split second decision whether it was the right one or not. That's headstrong and ready to go, tactical yeah. at the same time. Yeah, Aries watches two girls, one cup at least once a year. They what? revisit it just to keep that dumpster fire burning, that internal 
coal fire just churning off of the raw sewage, you know, pop media filth. Aries have an aptitude for filth and <laughs> and um, like offensive material, 100%. Mm. They love offensive material. They love being around arguments. Aries, they don't think they're arguing. Aries, they can get hot and in a temper and they're arguing with someone and the whole room is like, oh, oh, oh my God, oh my God. But the Aries is like, what? I'm just talking. What? You know, <laughs> we're, we're not fighting. Exactly. Aries, they keep a cool temperature. They don't realize how high the temperature is sometimes because they already are kind of acclim acclimated for warfare. But um, yeah, Aries women are never boring. That is true. Aries are spontaneous, 100% spontaneous. But um, yeah, let's look at some music. Let's look at, we went through sports a little bit. Some other Aries sports people. You know, mostly a football guy. I'm not, don't know too many others. Don't know really any soccer birthdays, but Aries in football. We went through the main ones. Let's go through some music. Going through music, you guys will get the flavor of Aries. I remember Elton John and Lady Gaga, and yep. then I would have to look it up. They're on the way to music. Von Bismarck. He was uh, he united Germany. He nice was a, Aries. It was the Lord of War. Spike on the head. Yeah. Um, Hell yeah. How much more Aries can he get? For sure. Massive, powerful mustache. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, <laughs> he was the warlord. I mean, he was the he was the. You know what they call me. You know my rap name. You know my street name. <laughs> Fully Auto. O T T O. <laughs> Fully Auto. Huh. Yeah. That's sick. <laughs> yeah. That's a good one. That's a good one. Shell, yeah. You know. Um, I mean, he's got armor on here. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Fully auto. So. <sighs> okay, getting the music. Conan Moccasin. Oh. Res as rosy as you get. Can we look at Conan Moccasin, please? One of my Conan Moccasin is so infant like. So childlike. He's like 50 years old, but looks like he's like nine. Yeah. He's rosy as can be. He sounds childlike. He sounds like a baby. He acts like a baby. His whole like persona is like a like a baby on like a fashion Jeez. fashion mm. runway. But like a Kurt Cobain wannabe a little bit, but he's very Aryan. He pisses off members of his audience. He was known for in his early days. He has an Aries face, totally. He is provocative. He trimmed his guitar so it looks like an arrow. You know, he cut the horns off his guitar, which, oh, very similar to Hellboy. Cutting the horns off the forehead. He cut his horns off his guitar. Mm. Air. Tur turned it into it like just a spear tip. Hey. A teardrop, people call it. But um, Aries, basically, you've got hmm. making music that doesn't really seem well thought out all the time. Like Han and Moxon's music is like, oh, yeah. he sounds like he might have made that in a single night, you know? Like, yeah. Jarbled it Close together time. real quick and got it out there. Yeah, totally impromptu but conan moccasin i know that he's very resourceful and he has like a gorilla approach to making music he's made one of his biggest albums in a hotel room in a foreign country you know with other guests like around so just you know making noise bothering people doesn't <laughs> care has to get it done but let's look at some other names billy fury back in the 50s 60s Billy Fury. Sick. Fury. I believe that's an acquired name. You know, 
a pseudonym, but Billy Fury. He was kind of a competitor to Elvis a little bit and the Beatles a little bit. Like the Sam Cooke era, I think. But Billy Fury. And he's got some aggressive songs too. Then you've got you've got Scrim from the Suicide Boys. Let's go. I forget his name, but Scrim is total Aries. He's provocative. He's got the very aggressive tone. The other one's a Pisces, the other Suicide Boy, and he's the one that's singing all over the place, you know, hitting these notes. Scrim is just like, I'm a I'm a stab you in the guts. I'm a you know, just it's always he's got that forehead. And he Abrasive. does have a demonic sort of look about him with he his the know, forehead upside down cross between his eyes. It looks like, or no, no, never mind. I'm sorry, that's an upside down something. Or other. Yeah, so Scrims and Aries. I yeah. love Suicide Boys. Guilty pleasure of Doctor Longo. He gets down with the white boy rap, hundred percent. And Scrim is an Aries. He's combative. He will fight members of the crowd too. That's a very common thing you're going to see with Aries. They they will get into it with with crowd members. Um, he's he's you know aggressive. If you know their music, you'll know that you'll 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 be familiar. You'll recognize that. Super Tramp, singer for Super Tramp. I forget his name, but they are all over the place. And he's just like it sounds like a circus. Like super tramp songs sound like he's running from one end of the room to like play an instrument, running to the other end of the room to play an instrument. Um, super tramp is very spontaneous. They're a very spontaneous band. And you get that from that Aries lead singer. Pixies, same deal. I forget his name. Um, lead singer for the Pixies. Aries, very spontaneous band, band, quiet, loud, quiet, loud. That's like the Pixies dynamic is just explosion after, you know, then get quiet again. Explosion, get quiet again. Very Pixies. And they have a lot of Aries related content. Um, they've got a song, Hey, that's a greeting, you know, Hey. Wave of mutil wave of mutilation. Monkey gone to heaven. Like just, you know, Mars through Hinduism and Hanuman. Some would argue that Mars rules monkeys. Manual labor is like, you know, monkey labor. Mars, Manu. Or, okay. Hey, I don't mean to but, interrupt, but um I was like, oh, Aerosmith and Steven Tyler's and Aries. Yes. And then I'm reading all. And then I'm reading Smith, Dream On. Iron. Yep. Bro, the lyrics to to Dream On is like, I mean, there's some gems in these lyrics. They're playing it big time. Come together. I'm looking at the album cover, everything. Totally. I mean, it's just that's, loaded. A, that's a great one. Aerosmith with the smithing. That's iron. Aries rules are iron and black smithing. Aerodynamics, mm. agility, precision. Or, you know, that's more Sagittarius a little bit, but penetration areas rules too. Dream on. So then you've got the singer for the gorillas. They're very spontaneous. Zany, happens. wacky band all over the place. Yes. Very um, juvenile. This is the theme amongst... Uh, Pixie's super juvenile. It's like a kid having a tantrum, if you know the Pixies. He's screaming, he's whining, very whiny music. Um, gorillas, also very juvenile. On and Moccasin, very juvenile. All these people we're talking about, there's a theme of juvenile, like uh, immaturity. Then That's you've funny. got... Yeah, the Pixies. Their most famous song is, you know, "Where Is My Mind." You know what I'm saying? Yes. It's kind of like, Whoa, absent-minded. You know yeah, absent-minded. Yeah. Yeah. No, not thinking. And also, Mr. Greaves. You know, like Grievous. Uh, wave of mutilation. That's a total Aries. So just. But let's look at some more. 
you've got Eden Akbez. Eden Akbez was famous for changing his name. He, he wrote Nature Boy for a famous uh, Nat King Cole or something. Yeah, he wrote Nature yeah, Boy yeah. For, for another famous American singer. But then he had a solo career and he was famous for changing his name. He was a fruitarian, hippie, wanderer, strange guy out in, uh, I think, California. He lived under the Hollywood sign for a period of time, <laughs> like camping, like a hobo. He was a fruitarian living off nuts and roots and shit like that. He lived a for you know so long and then died in a car crash yeah. so eden akbez is famous for changing his name to have the first to have the first area the first letter of the alphabet and the last letter of the alphabet akbez that was a pseudonym that he created eden akbez eden is arguably a very aryan concept to the beginning the original garden, Eden, East. Yeah, there's a lot to that, but Eden Akbez Aries, he was totally in his own lane. They're pioneers. There's a word, a key word we haven't hit yet. Aries are pioneers. Pio comes from pyro. Aries love their pyrotechnics. They are pyromaniacs. Aries are pyromaniacs. Mm. I went to first time I ever went to Jimmy's house. He he made a big fire and it was like uh, too big, like blowing in our face. You know, like it was a windy night. They like to stoke the fire. Yeah. And let's uh, we'll also say Marvin Gaye, sexual Mar healing. Marvin Mar Gaye. They're just like, hey, Marvin. I'm gonna make. Uh, they're like, hey, they're very lewd. They're like, I'm gonna just make the song about what I wanted to want to make it about. He loved to wear red too. You don't even have to uh, trigger. You don't even have to. Um, what's it called? Prompt it to show red. You just search Marvin yeah. Gaye, and he's always red. red, framed in red. Marvin. I mean, come on, come on, guys. Mars. Mars. Marvin. Sexual healing. It's all about lust. Hey, let's get it. Let's do it, girl. Come on, right now. Before the song's over, let's do it. And um, Total Aries. Also, Eric Clapton. Mm, yeah. Really? Took his girl, took his best friend's girl, girlfriend, yeah. right from him. Total Aries move. Um, Totally disrespects. Yeah, I love him. I love Eric Clapton. I do not like his guitar guitar playing. I like him for his politics. I like him for his, you know, mm, his especially own, his bravado. Years. Yeah, I like him for his bravado. I like him for his middle finger to the system recently. But Eric Clapton, there's another Eric. A total Aries name. Great name for Aries. Eric, Eric Clapton, even Clap, you know, it, it's always a stretch with the last names, but Clapton, Clapton, right? Aries. So Eric Clapton mm -hmm. is also not the skilled, most skilled guy, but he's known for his heart and sticking to the same type of music his entire career. Mm -hmm. And Those Aries. His lyrics are loaded. His lyrics are loaded, man. Yeah, he's basically a bit of an agitator. He got famous for being anti-V, anti-plandemic these last couple of years. But Eric Clapton, totally hot-headed, headstrong, puts himself where he needs to be. You know, half of, half of what do they say, half of success is showing up. He was everywhere he needed to be in 60s england 70s england 80s 90s he never missed a beat always showed up that's something you'll see with aries the aries are often the kid who doesn't miss a day of school because mm. they just stick it out not me but no <laughs> yeah well hey they're uh, they're all just uh you know reject reject authority a lot of the time but definitely jimmy 
Yeah, he didn't Eric like Clapton. the lockdowns. He didn't like to be locked down yes. in England, which was, um, you know, Soviet level. <laughs> it was crazy. Yeah. Well, Stingray like is like the Stingray is like the arrow of the sea, right? Yeah. It's it's very it's a very apt name. It came from the chat. Right. Stingray, Sting Raw. Yep. Sting. Oh yeah, Stingray. I selected that astrologically, one million percent. Sting <laughs> Ray, rays of the sun. And um, Bach, guys. Bach. Johann Sebastian Bach. No Aries. way. Really? Really? Total Aries. Da-na-na. Wow. Da-na-na. Scary. That's why I love him. Shocking. Ooh. It's it's abrasive. He's trying to agitate everyone in the room. Huh. Get everyone on, on their heels. Get, sorry, he get was, everyone on their toes. He was massive forehead on him. Yeah. That thing's a weapon. Bach. There was heat. <laughs> There's a temperature, a, a rising in temperature. When you hear Bach come on, it has an amp to it. It is like mm. heavy metal of classical. It's got this masculinity to it. And sure. Takata and uh, Fugue Huge. in D minor is totally an encapsulation of that. It's spontaneous. It's, it's hyper. It's erratic. It's like a kid with infinite talent to just kind of sporadically like ejaculating onto the page, like Burning. just spurting spurts of energy, like in musical orchestral perfection, and that's very much how Bach approached it and how I see him representing Aries. Takata is the encapsulation of Bach and Bach is the most Aries composer, most successful Aries composer. Um, he's aggressive and he definitely ruffled feathers with his choice of tonality, you know, changing rhythms very suddenly jerking people around it's the musical equivalent of like a like a uh you know dune buggy ride bach is it's very much a ride he looks like a ram in that photo like yep right yeah. there he... the curly horns yeah yeah yep. hmm. very much so. so you've got bach. bach you've got muddy waters i believe Oh, I'm yeah. not 100% sure. I'm a man. Oh, yeah, yeah. If that's the case, perfect. Can we get a confirmation on his birthday? That'd be perfect. So he seems like he has a raspy voice, right? Mm -hmm. Like Rasputin. April 4th. Yep. Nice. nice. Muddy waters. Uh -huh. The water's muddy with iron. I'm a man. He's a man. And he is totally masculine, yeah. you know, also aggressive, agitating. He was a bit of a troll, too. Had some funny lyrics, just like roasting people. Aries like to roast people. They like to be roasted, too. Aries can take a yeah. roasting the best. Let it be known. Um, but uh, also, you've got some good ones coming up here. Hey. That. Bad baby, Bahad Bakhti. Oh, no Bahad way. Bakhti. Catch me outside. How about that? Yeah. Uh. Juvenile, aggressive, foolish. I mean, she hits every. I don't know how to She is such an Aries. Every Aries man has a little bit of Bahad Bakhti in them. Yeah, this, this is it. <laughs> With the red hair, just Pardon aggro me. AF. She's. Aries women all act like this a little bit. They're just watered down variations of this Aries women. Yeah, joining so, OnlyFans, just jumping yeah. into things without thinking. Dude, Classic. I knew I knew a girl, an Aries girl, who dated her. Let's just say, dated. Okay, mm -hmm. because it's disgusting. Dated her thirty-five-year-old guitar teacher when she was like sixteen. <laughs> Yeah. Aries, yeah. Aries are like 
put me in, coach. You know, she's from They're, Lake Worth, bro. The Iron Mountain. Bro. She's from the Iron Mountain. Is she from Lake what? Worth? No way. I thought she was from Boynton Beach, Florida. Let's look this shit up. But she's Florida. a Florida girl for sure. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, wow. Peak. I did not know that. You guys could literally Florida. catch her Forgotten. outside. You know, if she's back <laughs> in her hometown. Yeah, we can <laughs> catch. Hey, what's up? I'm glad to see you outside. Oh, yeah, Boynton. Boynton. Yep. Iron Maiden. Iron Maiden, the lead singer. Um, He's uh, Aries. April 19th. Ooh, good one. Paul Mario Day. Iron Maiden, thank you. I'm going to get to that. So you've got Bahad Bakhti, Bad Baby, whatever her name is. I don't know her name. <laughs> what's her real name? Bad Baby. Um, but Bobby. Danielle Peskovitz Brigoli. <laughs> Daniel Brigoli. Right, Danielle. Um, yeah, Eddie, Eddie Money. Eddie Money. Total Aries. He's got this pop, you know, like pop rock, but it's also very agitating. Eddie Murphy? Yeah, anyone? Eddie Money and Eddie Murphy. Aries. Eddie oh Murphy's in Aries. Agitator. Eddie Murphy looks like a cleaner. Hyper. Right? He wears that red. He looks like a Klingon, 100%. Yeah, yeah. Him and also here's another one, guys. Um, who's that disgusting demon of a person? Uh, Lil Nas X. Who's from? Lil Nas X. Thank you. Lil, Lil Nas, Nas X and Eddie Murphy Phil. are like twin. Are like twins. Can we look up Lil Nas X? Jimmy, wow. please. Brace yourselves, everybody. <laughs> yep. Disgusting. Well, Goodbye, YouTube though, loves right? him, so we won't we won't get censored. That's we'll right. get we'll get we'll get remonetized. We'll get double monetized yeah. if we show <laughs> Lil Nas X Promoting naked it, on, yeah. on stream. He loves getting rammed. It's just 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 Dude. unfortunate. He's yeah. Let's just say they call him. Uh, no, that's stupid. <laughs> that's stupid. <laughs> hey, uh... no. No, no. <laughs> but you know, but no, just won't touch it. I, we do have another joke though. There's another joke with the ramming, you know. Yeah, I drive a ram, I drive a ram. You know, I used to have a belt buckle when I was like 12 that said, Ram the daughter, dodge the father. <laughs> yep, Chill classic out. car humor, badass. All right, can we pull up uh, Eddie Murphy, please, Jimmy? Yeah. Get us out of here. Okay. Here, we got a tip. Very funny, man. I'll read the tip. One Very sec. Confident. Fourth Emperor, thanks for the two bucks. Arizona, most airy state, agreed. Thanks for the two bucks. Ramadan. Ooh, a Ramadan. Yes, Ramadan uh, is Aries. Isn't Aries. Wow. Was yep. I not? 100%. I thought I was no, we can't. screen that whole time. Sorry. No, we can't see your screen. I've been looking at little Nas X. Okay, so this is Eddie Murphy. Look at <laughs> how he looks, this. especially when he was young, like in the 80s. Oh, yeah, right there. Oh, with the red. oh dude, Boom. just milking it. And raw. Whoa. Raw. Yeah. Raw. Eddie Murphy raw. I forgot. Oh, that was an incredible God. show. It that was. And Delirious. Yeah. With uh, the, the red. Delirious with the red leather and then raw with like purple, purple leather. Well, what's deli? Delirious. Deli meat. Like almost raw. Oh, yeah. But uh, raw. that's a stretch. But <laughs> both so related. you. He was total Aries, dressing like an Aries yeah. with the leather. So totally. confident. He's super hyper, too. He's like, yeah, you know what they say, Dad. And then, yeah, yeah. And then he's like switching <laughs> switching topics like exactly. extremely fast. Yeah. He's an incredible uh, stand-up comic. Yeah. So, yeah. Now, can we go to Lil Nas X, who is pretty much like the Antichrist version of Eddie Murphy. He's exactly. like Eddie Murphy's demon baby who got loose in Hollywood, you know, record yeah. label, and just got passed around like a beach ball till 
I mean, someone Until gave this, this guy happened. a contract. Yeah. This is Lil Nas X. Well, he looks legit- just like Eddie Murphy. Right. An illegitimate child gone astray. With the Diddy lawsuit coming out, I mean, it's uh, it's no surprise how we got here, dude. Yeah, we got a we got a couple uh, couple little Nas X's running around Lake Worth. Not to mention it. Yup, it's a crazy town. You know, so this is like get, this is the Antichrist version of uh, Delirious of the Eddie Murphy Delirious outfit. Fourth Emperor. For the tip, thanks for the five bucks. What's with Scorpio and the dual rulership of Mars? The heart of the Scorpion and Aries. One of let's, four let's world move on stars. From the little Nas visuals. It's just beautiful. Yeah. Let's move yeah. On from that Agreed. Can we look I at um, what's already. her name? What's Hermione's name? Emma Watson. Emma Watson. Can we look up Emma Watson, please? Absolutely. Any, any she time. is an heiress. Oh, Jimmy's down to get a little, <laughs> little. She's uh, she's very political, and she didn't she didn't stand up for J.K. So I don't think much of her at all. You know, J.K. Yeah. was uninvited to the Harry Potter, the official Harry Potter reunion that was going to be live streamed on primetime UK TV. Dude, how the yeah. fuck can Everyone, they uninvite the writer of the book? That's fucked yeah, up. Yeah, because because she said she likes to have a bathroom that dudes can't come into and sexually assault. Oh, yeah. You know. So, but that's fine. She wants Emma wants it wants it. Emma yeah. looks very arrogant. She does. Yeah. Her physiognomy reads arrogant. I think she's yep. cute, obviously, but what? She, look at that forehead. That's arrogant. She's not cute. She looks like a weasel. She's cute. She's, she's not she's cute. Like a weasel. She's cute. She's not cute. She's like a chihuahua, you know, frail. Like she's actually what uh what the she looks you, snippy, yeah, snippy. Very snippy. The uh she's anti, snippy. The not anti-vegan like, she's propaganda. not a threat though. Not a threat at all. Yeah. Snippy, just <laughs> annoyingly snippy. She's, she's anti-vegan propaganda. No, no, totally. no. This image, this image is used by anti-vegan propaganda. Yeah, basically she is. Because they say she looks up, but you know, her best look is when she's turned around life. looking back at you. When she's in front of you looking back, that's the best so, look of all those photos. Fourth Emperor, uh, what's with the sun? Good. What's with Scorpio and the dual dual rulership of Mars? Um, Scorpio is ruled by Mars as a visual planet, but it is primarily, in my opinion, ruled by Pluto. Scorpio is ruled by Mars and Pluto. Pluto is the octave of Mars. So Scorpio's ruled by Mars, just like Aries, but it gets that extra dark, deep underworld connotation from Pluto, Hades, the god of the underworld. So that's Scorpio. Hope that helps. Thank you. Chungus 500 with the two bucks. This is a fire squad. Joseph Campbell is in Aries. Shall ya? Mm-hmm. Two bucks. Look up Algernon. Algernon Swineburn, the poet. He's an Aries. Okay. Like Guyana Spice. Late super chat from last night. Thanks, Guyana. Appreciate it. Rock and roll. Ten bucks. Nine ninety nine. Legendary times and super chat. Love old world Florida family. This guy looks just like David Thulis. Is this Australian money? A, $7.99? What does the little A in front of the money mean? Uh, Maybe that's $10 US. Either. Yeah, it's probably. AUD? You're throwing some AUD down. What symbol do you guys use for money in Australia? Same as you, dollars. Then, yeah, that's an Australian money. It's got to be. AJ just jumped in and thought, and I thought What's that was symbol? a Mark. Mark Woe. What's Mark Woe. Well. Mark Woe. <laughs> well. He's a cricketer, I think. Wearing orange. Get it, Chads. That's my Mark is a Aries name. Yeah, yeah. Sweet. Here he is. No way. Yeah, he's oh, a, I thought he's you said cricketer. Mark Wahlberg. Thanks, AJ. Wahlberg. 
Appreciate it. I'm, I'm his son. Okay, with that out of the way, let's keep it moving. Let's get into some more musicians. You've got Stained, the singer from Stained, Aaron. I forget his last Aaron name. Lewis. Aaron Lewis. Aaron oh, Lewis. Oh, my. Yeah. Such Aaron a Lewis, cranky total. ass. Aries. Cranky. Outside. It's been a while. Mud shovel. You know. See him live. Man. Cranky. Yeah, done? they're cranky for sure. He's cranky. He's very outspoken. Massive yeah. forehead. Oh, yeah. Or it could be have receipt. No, it looks big. Keeps dude. it Look. sheathed. Keeps it sheathed in the deer hunting hat. <laughs> I don't know. Is that receding or does he have a big forehead? No, that's a big forehead. He, he's on the outside and he can see through you like an arrow, right? <laughs> <laughs> he's right he's here, screen. right here, right Aries, right Ascension. But um, Ghost Mane is an Aries, super hyper, super fast. He's like, uh, you know, trying to be competitive with his fast rapping and his spontaneous character changes that's another thing that's that's that scrim and ghost main have in common spontaneous like look at his tattoos spontaneous Where? tattoos and look at this well he's an astro he probably knows his astrology he's like a black magician yeah yeah i've never heard of him he knows look he's an chest. aries he knows so is he's this an guy a rapper or who is this? Guy? Aries yeah, yeah, he like guy. he's like in the same circles as as like Suicide Boys. He sucks oh. though. He's not good. He is obviously. From Lake he's actually from Lake Worth, Florida. Wow. His music is trash though. It's like Eminem, heavy metal, Limp Biscuit derivative. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's it's well, dull. He's basing it's like it all the, on the aesthetic. It's like the musical equivalent of like a jackass movie, hmm. like in your ears. I don't know how to say it. Just very. Does he ever uh, play the, the propaganda bar? Like what? Just very jarring. I'm sure he did. But he moved to LA. But he's from Lake Worth. He's from my, the city I'm in right now. There you go. And um, who else we got? We got the singer from Tool, Maynard James Keenan. Really? Totally. There we go. Hair. He's yep. got the hair, baby. Yep. Heath Ledger's got the hair too. Probably still alive, Heath. What do you reckon? On an island. Maynard James Keenan. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's a provocateur. He picks fights with the crowd sometimes. He's he's very famous for getting in two two famous altercations with crowd members. Two. One of which he had like a martial arts move against a crowd member who rushed him on stage. Whoa. He like swung him over and sat on him and restrained him for the rest of the song. And he finished the song <laughs> wow. in the middle of like a of con like hand to hand combat. Like with that's this, great. With this, uh, yeah, Sir Maynard fan incident. Is it, yeah. yeah, let's watch that, please. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to find it on Twitter. Oh man. That's incredible. Loot tool. Loot. Maynard took the J? No way. He took he took the jibby. The jibby. Well, that's what his publicist would probably say. So that he no, well, doesn't surprise me. Who I don't I don't think he's that do. cool. He's not that cool. He's pretty uh, lame. He has a winery. He's a winery. <laughs> <laughs> One of those guys. He, it would not oh, surprise he, me if hey, he took the jab. Hey, he don't forget he's training Mike Tyson. Who is Maynard? That's what uh isn't that's what I heard. Huh. I and then that's that. what I think that's what this guy's saying. Someone just told me that today. Maynard he is wait. friends with Joe Rogan. Mm-hmm. Vax then. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny did joe rogan Who's get the vax uh <laughs> who knows but i mean he's, no, I he's, he's, going, he's the type of guy who would no. have gotten it and pretended he didn't get it no. yeah yeah he's also the type of guy to like promote it to his audience and then not yeah. do it 
He's one of those yeah. guys for yep, sure. To do whatever he's told. Joe told um, you early on he would take the check. This one. He oh. warned you. He warned you he was gonna t- he's gonna take a check and just do whatever he's told. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, um, I much like Danny Carey more. Danny Carey's way cooler. I agree, guys. Danny Carey's the heart and soul of Tool. He's just the lead singer, and you know, admittedly, like the weakest link in the band. Whoa. Dare I dare I say that? Uh-oh, I said it. But um, if, he's if I share, kind of sorry? sorry. If I share something that's on Reddit, but it's it's a YouTube video, is that still is that still bad? People get the idea. It. They can look it up if yeah. they want to see it. You can but he basically it. he basically like uh, flips this guy over and just restrains him while he's while he finishes the song. <laughs> With the great. fan, like That's subdued. Dude. Totally, totally Aries move. He was in the military, he was in the Marines, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, either, either the army or the Marines. Okay. He Might as well sing, be on the field. A a singer in, in the military, then went into the band tool. So interesting life. Very Aries. He's a pioneer. Awesome. He started singing in the band when he was like 30. Super uncommon. You know, like they got famous like after they were 30. Mm. Um, yeah, the drummer was almost like 40 when they got their first like big paycheck. Um, but they started late and they hit the ground running. Aries, they get into things quick and then take off quickly. <laughs> Um, Pretty sure Maynard is a Crowley baby compared to Pix when he was young. What? I don't know. He could be. No. But yeah, tools into all the occult stuff, whatever. But Maynard is very juvenile. Very, very juvenile. He looks like a baby. He acts like a baby. His lyrical content is very juvenile and trollish. Tool also, like a reference to like Marshall. Like a wrench, you know, a tool, a nail, a hammer. Um, Juicy J, if I'm not mistaken. Aries. Total. L- lust Juicy monster. J. Juicy J. Three, six, Bobby. Uh, yeah. Lady Gaga we already talked about. Bobby Vinton. Mm-hmm. How do I just not know? any rapper now what's happening you know juicy j dude no i've never heard of that's I've crazy bands that make a dance bands that make a dance Maybe all these g's clapping beep i'm just popping bands i egg i exited when it started to get that bad a long time ago yeah i like the old stuff Pop Probably that recognize beep it. for a real beep. I'm trying to think of the last. <laughs> beeps. I can't. Uh, I can't. You know, I can't like, hear uh, it. I thoroughly right make you know, a like, movie with yo beep. Steven Spiel beep. <laughs> you don't know you that know, one. Like uh, ever since I can remember, I've been popping my collar. Pop, popping my. Collar. You know that one, dude. Yeah, you know, no, that no. one. I know. Nice Aries picture here. Guy to. So that's uh, musicians. Yo, we also, can we get so... can, can we get into political leaders? Like, because mm. Aries seem to be just political, perfect for politics. Right. If y'all don't, I don't mind, know about I don't that. Care. Hey guys, I, I'll say it right now: Aries is the sign least likely to get famous, unless it is mm-hmm. combat competition you know you know there's exceptions to that uh, this is by no means like a a blanket generalization but aries inspire contempt in other people they just do and they're not a sign that people want to see unless they're filling the villain role which is why you see derek carr the undertaker in the nf in uh, wwe Undertaker is like the longest running villain in WWE history. And I know it's so stupid to talk about WWE, but what are they thriving off of? Not athletic, you know, um, not actual athletics, but archetypes. It's yeah. all like theater for the for men. It's it's like Broadway for men, you know? It's not about the wrestling. Like we get it, they're faking. It's like the 
storylines are so simple and brutish. It's like Broadway for men. Like, big man smash. Like, hey, you took my wife. No, you're a pussy. Hey. And they're like, they're like, boom, 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 boom. And just like, clash. It's, it's Broadway for dudes. That's WWE. And Dummy. Raw, WWE, Dummy. SmackDown, Raw. You guys know. It went by that. But um, I forget what I was saying, but the villain role. So Aries can thrive in that villain role, like Lil Nas X. Lil Nas X knows everyone hates him. Even the people that like him hate him or like are afraid of him. He's he's provocative. Aries can definitely soar Ew. and zoom. And Logan Paul. Ew. Logan Paul is like one of the most famous people in the world. Do I like saying that? No. He's one of the most recognize, recognizable people to have ever lived on planet earth why was he like you know does do all of his followers love him because he's like a good person absolutely not do they like him because he's like super talented absolutely not nope. do they like like him for any you know one thing not really just he's provocative he's like a villain he went where people wouldn't go you know he even if he's not like a big you know, freedom of speech or actually has anything meaningful to say. It seems he, just, as he, he overrides, he goes to taboos. He fuels, you know, he's fueled by taboo. And the whole suicide thing was the best encapsulation of that. He yes, seems Spence? too good. At, he seems too good at his role. It's the most scripted thing I've, I think I've ever seen. Like forced. Obviously, I think those boys were spoon fed to the tops of every search engine ever. So to me, it was the most spoon fed script. But like you're saying, he filled that role so easily. He fit every, it's almost like he was just like picked perfectly. Like, here's what we got at Nickelodeon or whatever. Oh, there he is. Boom. There's our next villain. You know? I, tend mm -hmm. to, I tend to disagree a little bit because I think he had a very cavalier um, attitude towards the early ages of the internet. Right. And I think with something like know. with uh, Russell, I don't like, he's obviously probably a shill in terms of his political statements, but in terms of him, like going into professional wrestling and flying through the air, yeah. I mean, it's, he's, he's a fucking prototypical Aries. I think he loves yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. I think he I loves he's a total fucking shill. Like he's like a golden retriever of a human being. Like give yeah. that guy a tennis ball and he'll have a great time. You know what I mean? But, um, I just, there's something very cavalier about him. I think he's talented at good at everything he does, like you're saying, and they picked him because of it. And he's just like, Yeah, give me the ball. Give me the ball. I want the attention. I want to be the quarterback, even though he's yeah, no, yeah. So it's a script. Lady Lady Gaga, Mariah Carey, Robert Downey Jr. Total Aries. Oh, wait, hang on. Iron Man. Oh <laughs> Iron Man, Mars. Oh, and he flies. Masculinity. Red, yep, manual labor. You know, he built it with his own hands. Okay, Jessica Chastain, redhead, very intimidating woman, like you know, sexy but not feminine. You know, Jessica Chastain. If we could look her up, yeah, let's look her up. Well, Jimmy definitely got the forehead. Come on, just kidding, no rush, Jimmy. I used to have a Mariah Carey poster in the bathroom at my house. When Mariah, yeah, Mars, Mariah, Ria, Maria, Mariah, Mariah, Jimmy. Mariah. Could we pull up Jessica Chastain, please? Sure. And I, I'm going down a list here. If we could quick fire, show their <laughs> faces, that'd be awesome. Ooh. So Jessica, Jessica Chastain. Chastain. Are we going? I'm looking at her right now. Are we going cute or not? I'm going cute. And Yo, I'm going yeah. smoking hot. Dude. Okay, cool. She's she looks precisely like those old who the who Da Vinci would like uh, paint. Mm -hmm. You know, there was a <clears throat> model by the model back then that was well known and used by many of the greats who looked just like that with a strong. She has she has a masculine yeah. chin. It's a masculine. She has, Strong, strong masculine stuff. chin, but you'll notice people aesthetic has always demanded 
androgyny. You know, the most beautiful women, aesthetically deemed aesthetically perfect, valuable women, have mas rather masculine jaws. Mona you know, Lisa. It's a square, a square jaw. And and your runway model men tend to be a little bit more feminine. You know, it's they go for tone and <clears throat> and angular features. Jimmy, can you pull her up? Oh, we got her right here. is it not this sharing? Is, Jessica Chastain. No, no, we see her now. <laughs> Jessica <laughs> Chastain. I think she's smoking. Oh wow! Guys, I remember her. Yeah, I like her. Yeah. I like her stuff. Now, now, Al Dog, we're mm -hmm. these two guys are married, so okay. we, we we can't <laughs> we can't offend. Mm -hmm anyone but i think she has a very masculine looking uh chin and jaw structure yeah but yeah. i agree that's that's a uh, aesthetically you know artists have always been drawn to that and yeah. celebrity vogue i'm not know. married so i'm going with total babe squad <laughs> dude for real yeah. i'm with you now <laughs> yeah she almost looks like she's julia smoking. roberts she's intimidating right yeah she's, she's an aries intimidating. It's an Aries woman, right? Like she looks hectic. Wasn't she? Know, wasn't she in the Navy SEAL movie? Wasn't she in? Uh, wow, whatever it's called. Zero Dark. When they got 30. yeah, Zero Dark Thirty, isn't that her? I think that's that her. was on the Pentagon list. Candace but Owens then, brought up the uh, the Pentagon CIA budget for uh, Hollywood. That was that nice. was on there. Of course. And then we have Reese Witherspoon. God, Reese no. Witherspoon, forehead, bro. Also, that forehead. forehead. Armor plated forehead. She's a little, you know, chihuahua. <laughs> she's wound up. She's aggressive. She's cranky. She's hyper. She's changing, changing her, you know, thoughts. She's she crushed her role in Legally Blonde. Absolutely changing her train of thought like very quickly. She is the snappy chihuahua. You know, like she is. That's Aries. So. Juvenile, foolish. She had a chin on her too. You know, charismatic a little bit, but yeah. Elton John. Just an <laughs> unremarkable gay loser that we don't really need to talk about much. The sunglasses um, are the segue. Emma Watson. We'll just skip Elton John. He's lame. Emma was, Emma's talented. Yeah, Emma Watson. Talented, but not friendly looking. And I'm, I'm not saying he's a loser because he has those preferences he's a loser who happens to have those preferences mm -hmm. oh so, wow that was nice of you to say longer <laughs> elton john he sucks in pretty much every way ever his They'll songs are written by someone else he was knighted for no reason he's mm. he's held up as like the king of like pop <clears throat> music and that's a rightful rightful you know title maybe but it's the he's the king of garbage is what he is it's all about gay sodomy yeah all it was his intentional songs, social engineering all of his songs yeah. are sodomite anthems mm. rocket man <laughs> you know filling up my ass with plenty of gum <laughs> <Fucking. laughs> <laughs> it's true it's so okay. subjects gay subjects runs deep Sodomite. throughout Phil. all of that there's probably going to be some uh, allegations that will you know come out maybe after he's dead he maybe. seems very politically yeah. connected um, but there's going to be some skeletons in there for sure he's like him and jimmy seville are like the same yeah. person why do you They're think like he got person. knighted exactly jimmy savile yeah it Elton John is the Jimmy Savile of music. I mean, the, everything. The kooky outfits, the hanging out with kids, the philanthropy. They're one and the same. Elton John is a devious, disgusting, fat little chipmunk that no one should ever listen to. No one should ever invite this demonic, you know. Ugh. There's just few, few people that I hate yeah. more. On planet Earth, than Elton John. He's got a freaky. He's a vibe. fat, talentless grandma. <laughs> I mean, go on. Yeah, we got to look at. Elwood, real tough to look at. <laughs> Imagine. He's literally seeing red. 
He's like he's bloodthirsty oh. sodomite, just like seeing all the kids kids yeah. in the crowd through red lenses. Well, like, how many of them uh, doesn't Bono Bono wears those lenses? You know all of the that oh, whole shit. saga, right? Good point. What is that? What does that mean? The vampires. You haven't you guys haven't gone oh. down the vampire thing, the ones that wear those and their whole Oh yeah. It's it's a nasty little rabbit hole. Wow. Yeah. It's fun though. It's a good one. We'll get into it sometime. Dude, the only person I feel worse for than than Elton John, the only the fat grandma. is is the dude who has to bang Elton, Elton John. Uh, is his the person. wife. <laughs> dude, he, no, he doesn't have a wife. Male, he's full blown. He's male wife. You know. You know what's. Yeah. You know what's actually crazy. He has Ugh. a husband, and I've chatted to him. I've chatted to his husband. I All didn't right. know it was him. My bad. I was My I was bad. working in his store. You know that guy. Right here. He was he was lovely, but you know, it's just like he keeps the home fires burning while Elton just parades around the world doing whatever he wants to do. But they they adopted uh, children. Three guesses on the gender of the kids, but uh, you know they're they're uh, fathers and um and they live in L.A. But yeah, he was a very sweet, lovely guy. But I didn't know when I was talking to him. I was just trying to sell him bad, some man. stuff. Dude, any any gay guy that's not being overly flamboyant, I'm always like great friends with, and like don't care, and <laughs> half the time never know. But anybody flamboyant, like I never become good friends with, like overly acting and shit. But like I'm friends with so many gay guys, and it's like, whoa, there's too many sometimes. Yeah, the less flamboyant, the less uh, trouble. Oh, I love. He's, he's I have flamboyant. To, I, love, I love gay guys that are just normal. If you yeah, can just be normal. Here. Yeah. Here's a good one. Just Here's like a, uh, you know, another flamboyant Aries. Guys, can you guess who this might be? Not a gay man, but Martin Short. Perhaps <laughs> the most Aries person on planet Earth. Okay. That's um... Martin Martian. Oh, no. Chuck short. He's short with people, he's got a short fuse. He's short, you know, Kurtz, Corto, like we were talking about earlier. Short, Martin Short. And he's yappy and he's hyper. He's the most, one of the most animated people to have ever been on television on planet Earth. He is so, you know, physical in his acting. He is so aggressive. He takes a contrarian approach to almost anything, any scene he's in, in you know, comedy or whatever, always the agitator, always brings excitement, always brings ampage. He's just like on it. He's fiery. He's like 70 years old and has the drive of a 20 year old. Always. I can share the screen. Sweet. Martin Short. It. Total. He's got this wired look to. I love Martin Short. I love martin short <laughs> he's hilarious and he's Early flamboyant or later you would assume he's this. like gay he's not he had a long time wife who died and unfortunately he was on the view one time or like an equivalent show this is terrible one of the worst things <laughs> to have ever happened on live tv guys a lot of superlatives with this guy but hear me out on live tv he got a, invited on to The View. I think it was The View. So he got all these pretentious loser women interviewing him. And they didn't do any research, of course. Um, and guess what? And guess what? Geez. They assumed. They go, oh, Martin, how's your wife? Oh, you know I love your wife. She's been doing so good. And yeah, you, know, you guys do so well together and all this stuff. No. Um, his wife had just died. Huh. And this was like his first big interview since Shit. they did no research. And literally it? he almost in like a comedic, like he went into like a comedic coma or something and basically and actually he handled it very well. I shouldn't say that, <clears throat> but it's hard to tell if he was trolling or not. He did not acknowledge them or correct them. He was just what? like, yeah, you know, and just <laughs> the conversation and wow. did not, did not breach, did not, you know, 
explain, hey, she's dead. He just that would have been a hell of a moment. That would have been a great moment of live TV if he had, but he probably was being very polite to those yeah. airheads. Mm -hmm. He was being polite to women. How do you not know that, like that detail about the person you're interviewing on live TV? Like you don't do you don't do one Google search on your phone. Yeah, and the guy on the span, but uh, guy on the spice said, "Doc, I heard him talk sadly about his love for her, and wouldn't he pledged like he wouldn't look for another woman, like ever." Like he was that in love uh, with her, who was with her like the whole time she was dying. And then they had no clue. Didn't do any research. Not even just a quick they, little Google. And created one of the most embarrassing encounters to have ever been filmed. Kathy um, Lee Gr Gifford. Gifford. And it was from Madagascar. Uh, they were talking about Madagascar 3. That was the <laughs> reason for the interview. What was he, like a lemur or something? <laughs> what is he, King Julian? That's so sad. I can't believe No, that. King Julian was uh, Sasha Baron Cohen, I think. Oh, sure. Whatever. So Aries. Yeah. Let's see, what else is there? You know, Eddie Murphy, Halle Berry. Oh, here's a good one, guys. Who liked uh, Revenge of the Sith or Clone Wars or, you know, the uh, Star Wars sequels? prequels i guess who liked them i thought they were pretty cool i grew up with them pretty iconic if you ask me the new ones were god awful terrible mm -hmm. yep these sequels sequels trilogy so so bad yeah so bad it, it couldn't get worse honestly destroyed yeah, like a... the early 2000s once disney bought it out it was over mm. yeah agreed <laughs> the writing was on the wall the new and, one is, uh, you know, like girls, like a girls' school, of how to be Jedi's or something, right? It's pretty like much. Very pretty much. School of girls who are going to be Jedi's. Yeah. yeah, it's like they kill the main characters in the first, whatever. <laughs> it's just, it's just terrible. But yeah. Paul Smarys, Paul Rudd, very Aries, spontaneous, you very know, very funny, swanky charismatic but speaking of star wars both ewan mcgregor and oh ewan mcgregor is that the ewan guy that mcgregor sings? and mm. hayden christensen <clears throat> wow. were aries I so love you, both McGregor. of the combatants you know that that final battle in revenge of oh. the sith oh i is, can't stand that guy is iconic that you know what i mean people so many people like took up like martial arts or something because they saw Obi Wan mm -hmm. and Anakin dueling. Well, they're both Aries. They're both. It was wow. Well, perfectly set up for this final lava planet duel where they're like half on fire. Everything's burning around them, crashing, crumbling. That's Very right. Aryan. The two of them dueling it out. They spent like uh, you know a year choreographing it and very aries they go above and beyond you, they uh yeah dude have you guys seen ewan mcgregor's like uh motorcycle ride movie documentary long way around oh dude i love that uh, no, i'm a dual sport it. guy oh it's amazing he sings and everything. So, i love his voice another emma watson almost a clone of emma watson is kira knightley they literally are like the same mm. person. They act the same. Two English like, roses. Yeah. She's like the Pirates of the... It's like, oh, uh, wait, hang on. Um, Emma Watson was busy doing Harry Potter. Okay, well, let's get Kira Knightley. You know, she's an Aries. Total Aries, snappy, chihuahua-like. Sharp, pointy. You know, pointy, yep, for sure. Serica just... <laughs> Serica. I just said Serica. Sarah Jessica Parker, one of the most disgusting yes. people on the planet. <laughs> who Aries? Who I am prettier than? <laughs> I look like what Sarah Jessica Parker would look like if she were actually pretty. Okay, right here, guys. <laughs> Sarah <laughs> SJP. <laughs> more more like uh, SMP. Okay. 
Sarah Jessica Parker. Sarah Jessica. Sarah Jessica. Oh my God! Can we do a comparison? Can we do a side by side of me and her? Yeah. It's funny. Is she from New York? Is she a New Yorker originally? She's a New Yorker. I mean, sex, sex in the city, of course. But it, very New York sort of energy. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah, she sucks. She was a very negative influence on young women. No, oh, yeah. Her disgusting show. Totally. Yeah. Sarah. Totally. You should be ashamed. But she's proud. <laughs> Fuck her. Yeah. She's, oh, man. It's Dude. all part of the culture. Yeah. Very, Hundo. very beautiful. Hundo was, Hundo. Wasn't I, she I, in the movie with McConaughey? Like where it was like a pretty low life concept? How to ditch a guy in like. No, that was 10, Kate 10 Hudson. Days. That was uh, Kate Hudson. I um, can't spell anything. What uh, was that? I movie? don't know, dude. Uh, I don't. Sarah Jessica Parker. Sarica. Sarica Parker is one of my <laughs> most failure detest- to launch. Detested Boom. Failure to launch. Yeah. It. I got a failure dude. to launch again. <laughs> Can you click on the top left? You know how much they had to pay Matthew McConaughey not to knock <laughs> this bitch's teeth out? <laughs> top left. Can you click Restraint. on that one? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's just very all slow. Right, all right, all right. It's uh, I'm having a slow patch here. Yeah, but he Not looks happy. visibly uncomfortable just from that <laughs> photo. There we go. He looks. He's he got the thousand. Good. He's got the thousand yard stare right there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think she's a, got, she you, might be a dude too. Probably. She might be a full blown New Yorker, bro. <laughs> Some New Yorker <laughs> chick who moved to California became a man. Yeah, you never know. Or vice versa. My bad. Vice the other way around. So she's Aries. Cool. Damn, dude, she sucked. She sucked all <laughs> the the juice it's, right out of McConaughey's glory days. It's Spencer right. and Longo. <laughs> Spencer and Longo. Is she with Matthew Broderick? Yeah. Are they married? Recently. No way. Oh, uh, I don't know if they have to get that together. Dude, this is this is going from Astro Just Chats friends. to Astro Dating. Bitches. Astro Her husband, girls. Matthew Broderick, no way they got married. No. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, here's another area. Jim Bueller. Parsons. Jim Parsons. The, the guy from... Um, wow. From the... Uh, Big Gay Gang Bang Club. Gig, no, Gang Bang Show. What's it called? The Big Bang Show? Uh, the, big bang. <laughs> the Big... Yeah, the... The Big, the big Black cool. Gang Bang. Big Black yeah. Gang Bang Void <laughs> Show. One apartment. He's an Aries. Of course. At some point, I have a... A, a literal question about a characteristics, not yeah. Aries, do you see him? Examples of these hyper. Stories. He's hyper. He's all over the place. He's like a you know snappy also. He looks like a thunderbird puppet. What me. did you say, Spence? Oh, you just got a question, Kirkwood Longo. What would you say about the personality of an Aries male with Cancer ascending? Um, that was almost going in a different direction. Cancer, Aries male, you know, everything we've been saying so far. Cancer ascendant is going to water you down a little bit. You know, cancer ascendant is a tough ascendant to have. Um, it's watery, it's dense, it's heavier. Cancer ascendant, you know. <clears throat> I don't know what to say. We're focusing on Aries right now. Two tunnel vision here. I do have right a now. I do have a question about Aries though, because um it's 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 about Baron Trump. So I, I know you're talking about the the villains. What about a role of an Aries like in politics? Because I, I, I don't see Baron not playing a significant role. There's mm-hmm. something about him that's just like mm-hmm. oh, that's that's our that's our king right there. Yeah, there's yeah, 
we know we know something's coming. What does an Aries roll at an upper upper level mean wow. to you guys? Pioneer. They're the pioneer. Okay. And um, his mom too, Melanie or or wait no, <laughs> Melanie Melania, right? Melanie Walter Trump. Aries. Oh, Melanie, <laughs> Melanie, Melanie. Huh. Baron just turned eighteen like the other day. Yeah, and he's six foot eight, right? He's fucking massive. You know we. <laughs> Six, eight. Come on. What? What's in this? Florida, Florida giant confirmed. Still, there's no um, interview. Like, I just can't wait for an interview just to hear his voice. Or... I've never heard him speak. No, no one has. Yeah. There's no there's no footage or audio of him. Speaking. Dude, I got to say, though, that's fucking epic just from a, a mystique standpoint. Yeah. You know what I mean? Exactly. That's total PR move right there. They're keeping it. They are keeping that for the powerhouse. There will be a throne for that six eight, like Abe Lincoln, like boom. Mm -hmm. Also, yeah. it. hands on the blood. hands back on the fascies or something wild. Yeah, exactly. Like an eagle. Yeah. Well, he has been a child, like in all fairness, he has been a child up until this point. Now he's eighteen. So they've kept that private, but uh, he just seems like more mature. I was surprised to see his age. I thought he was just, like in his twenties, just super tall. Imagine if he talks and it's the same exact voice as Trump. You know what I mean? <laughs> no, it, no way, not a chance, dude. Don't that would be incredible. It. The raspiness and everything. I think he's. I think he's gonna. I'm pretty confident he's gonna sound like the arc, like the architects, like the. Uh, the uh, creators, like the giant titan gods from Prometheus. I think that's what he's going to sound like. Like an yeah. octave deeper. Like the elites from Halo. Oh, yeah. 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 Be It'll be so like, My brothers. Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like a chief. I address you today to like just a full <laughs> oct octave. The buffalo lower. has spoken. <laughs> from the height. Oh, God. Yeah. Just a powerful, deep. I mean, no one knows what these, what those uh, titans sound like. Obviously, we can only barely imagine. But um, he will show us. I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited to see it. I'm excited to be around for it. It's a great time. All right, guys. Oh, God's just see. Is something. there anything, anything else we need to get in? Nancy Eldor? Pelosi. Nancy Pelosi. How are you feeling? Someone asked uh, what Jerry Ch Jimmy Chorizo's uh, zodiac was if he was an Aries. Uh, it's oh, unknown. Point. They don't even know which year he was born. They're not yeah. going to know. He probably doesn't even know what, which year he was born. So we, that's yeah. going to re remain a mystery. They don't. They don't mark their years in Haiti. They just go by earthquake frequency. <laughs> oh, which earthquake were you born before or after? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Longo. What would you say about the personnel? I already read that. Make sure that's so Barons and Aries. Um, cancer, you know, singing, cancer, chef, chefs, and singers. Cancer makes the best cooks, singers, and mothers. <clears throat> but having your ascendant there, people are going to view you as nurturing. You'll come off as a nurturer, as a, you know, motherly to other people. Okay. What What about Aries ascendant? What about people? There are something else, but their Aries is an ascendant. What effect does having similar Aries... everything we've been describing so far? But they'll have but more the of an presentation. They'll have more of an aggressive appearance. For example, I will guess people wrong as Aries because uh, they're because they're presenting ascendant. Well, their ascendant is Aries, okay. so. Aries is the strongest ascendant too. So Cancer is a tough ascendant because it's very lunar. It's very dense, slow moving. The ascendant wants to be bright and breathy and, and airy and light and quick like Aries because it's the first house and Aries is the first house, Aries. Mm. So your ascendant is ruled by Aries. <laughs> so the ascendant wants to be an Aries. That's, you know, Leo ascendant, Sag ascendant, Aries ascendant, Gemini ascendant, these tend to be more true to the the goal. The ascendant is to be how you're first, you know, perceived. You want to be quick on your toes, you know, kind of with it. And 
So yeah, Cancer Ascendant. Aries Ascendant, if someone's a Pisces and they have an Aries Ascendant, that can overpower anything else. Having an Aries Ascendant will definitely bring like a angular look to the face, angry look to the face, more so than just having your son in Aries. So. Right, so you might see someone and go, oh, that's probably an Aries, and then you get to know them or you start talking to them, and then you go, oh, maybe not. Because you've you've seen the face that they are presenting to the world as their ascendant and uh, deceptive. Mm -hmm. What? Well, what? Dog. Yo, yo, what up? How are we feeling? I you think, think we mission accomplished for tonight, man. I think we learned a lot about Aries. Went through a ton of examples. Um, you know, I feel like I know the sign a lot more now, and I know what to look for, especially with the. Uh, the words, you know, and um, just the action of Aries. I think we, I think we got it, fellas, for yeah. uh, episode one of uh, season I think, two. I think you wanted to get into how the zodiac signs behave in social media. Yes, and this that's, season, that's an easy one for Aries. Aries yeah. will Aries DM everyone. They just okay. sneak <laughs> their, they just sneak their way into people's. They're trying to just burst the door open. Yeah, they're, they, they're just like, oh, that person has a million followers. Okay, I'm just gonna DM them, and they're gonna open it anyway. And um, you know, Jimmy reached out to me in a in a uh, you know direct, quick, wham, bam. All right, here we are. You know, fast. You find yourself doing that a lot, Jimmy? Just directly. You yeah, know, I, I send emails pretty pretty rapidly. Pretty cool. Oh, and he's great. Yeah, cold he's his job cold calling aries and leo make the best salesman why because mm -hmm. it's the salesman salesman is a salesman and that comes from salt 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 that's solar rays Soul condensed dried. Soul, dried soul water sea 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 yeah. water dried in the sun salt you're left with salt that's that salt a commodity. that's soul that's yeah, the so salesman is solar. Sol, you know. Um, I actually sell solar products. Yeah, or, that's yeah. so Aries. It makes so much sense to just keep firing at those prospects, even yeah. if when, yeah. they, when they knock you down, you just keep going. And yeah. he's he's getting, um, you know, pitching guests like cold calling guests, essentially. Wow. You know, you know, knocking on doors digitally and aries are well suited for that wow yeah, Vivian they are they're solicitors soul soul solicitors there you Ooh, go salesman God. solar connection nail in the coffin soliciting have you ever knocked door to door jimmy no no i don't think so i've done a lot of like flyering stuff like that but i haven't had an official long-term door to door Okay. And yes, another Aries thing. Salt is all that remains during cremation. Your ash is a series of cell salts. Okay. So how do Aries act? They just, they DM, you know, they probably send a good amount of dick pics. Unwarranted. <laughs> Aries is number one. How dick, else do we get guests? Pick. How else do we get interviews? I mean. Yeah. <laughs> Long goes like Hiram. <laughs> and uh aries are also <laughs> gonna get more aggressive there there are devices are always at like five percent three percent one percent dead dying no you way. know lost the really? charger aries are all over the place aries <laughs> are um you know, all the apps open Taps. At, the, at the same time all the apps open at the same time and like active and just draining battery and just wasted energy, wasted energy. It's like, eh, you know, whatever. Aries are with like between male, female, Aries electronically. Like I was saying earlier, Aries like are not, Aries women especially don't play like the hard to get game. They don't wait for you to text them back. Aries will like text you first. Aries will like text 10 times in a row. 
areas can text a hundred times in a row and not feel like they're getting taken advantage of, not feel like they're, you know, missing, not feel like they're getting, they feel like they're entitled to, um, or that they have the right, just not, you know, lack of awareness. But something my brother says about our Aries friends is that they send 10 messages in a row on, you know, unwarranted. And <laughs> I've heard, up. <laughs> do you do that to me or what? Like you just go not, ten. I mean, not so much. Okay. He doesn't do that to me or anything, I mean, but I like that though. If like, I don't know if say what you got to say, I like that about Aries It's you know what I mean? Just fucking get straight to the point. That's yeah. one thing I do like about Aries. Yeah. They seem to be There's pussyfooters. No small you know? talk. Yeah. Ever. Seems like you guys get a lot done. It seems like they get it done, even though it's it's maybe all over the place. Energy energy can go anywhere for whatever reason, but it seems like they're getting it done. Well, it's getting it started for sure. Lots of things get started. Mm-hmm. Okay, not okay, always, there you go. Uh, not always done. Ah, okay. Way more started than done. But I see. Yeah. That makes sense. Well, it'd be good to get. But, done. Oh, they the love heat. Aries love heat and sunlight yeah. too. Yeah, they can spend the most time. In the sun next to Leo, you know, Leo likes yeah. the sun the most. Perfect. Aries likes heat. They can stand, they can stay in the sauna the longest. Mm-hmm. They can stay in this steam room the, sa- the longest. They can eat the spiciest food. Aries loves spicy food. They have the highest apt- mm. aptitude. Um, really? Mm-hmm. Yeah, they like spicy, like mm. Thai food for sure. They, they are the people who were doing like the, the like the uh, hot pepper challenges in like high school. Aries are like your daredevils. You know? Eating weird shit in the lunchroom. Yeah, and Sagittarius too. I admittedly was like a jackass level. <laughs> you know, in elementary school, my friends used to, I used to let my friends make my plate as like a joke. Like the whole lunch table would watch. They'd make the most vile, <laughs> disgusting creation uh, at the lunch at the lunch line, and I would just eat it. Like it would be like it'd be like a Jello and onion sandwich, <laughs> like a Jello onion sandwich, like with yeah. soup splashed on it. Oh, and like <laughs> like poured like grape juice poured on it. So it's like soggy bread, just the most vile creations that the child mind can come up with we, we nice. played a game called potion where you would uh yes in the in the fridge you could pick like any yeah. five items or something yeah. yeah you know who showed me that game yeah you know who showed me that game that aries ex-girlfriend that i just told <laughs> you about. that was a year My, older hey, than me the aries that potion. showed me the aries that showed me rotten.com showed me that yeah exactly mm-hmm. they're always like Aries is like your, your friend that's like, would you rather die by getting hammered to death or drowning? Like, you know, would you rather have, would you rather suffocate or be smothered to death? Like, Aries are very, you know, abrasive. That's so funny. All right. Did he just freeze? I think Longo just froze. Yeah, yeah. He, I can't hear him either. Long ago, if you're hearing this, you just froze. Jimmy, you're not frozen, or are you just staying still? Am I the only one not frozen? Fucking, I know Spencer, you're you're messing with me. You're not actually frozen. Uh, Jimmy's frozen. Longo's frozen. Um, so I think that's it, fellas. <laughs> I think that's it. Um, I think it's just uh, me and you, Spence. They're definitely uh, both frozen. Man, so, I, so what's up? So. Uh... How you been, man? Let's I mean, let's end it here. This is actually kind of hilarious because it's like that's kind yeah. of that's your signal from the our signal from the universe to call it a show. So yeah, right. it was a fun fun show. Uh, Aries learned a ton about it, and there are so many like examples that we went through that you can't forget them. You know what I mean? So yes. uh, you know it's fun to learn about astrology to learn these archetypes, but it's such an expansive field, and uh, you know it's just me and you, player. So Bro. anything else you yeah. want to say before we, we bounce? Yeah. Next t- next time when we get into the sports, I always wanted to like chime in with this with you. Yeah. The specifics of the characteristics of the event in the sport that they choose 
and you know, like their role, like kind of the specifics of the quarterback or the like uh, fencing compared to football or golf compared to you know the style. And so it's there's a lot to that that I don't think a lot of people. Uh, someone yeah. saw I was faking my frozenness. That was funny. I think I think sports and astrology work really really well because yeah. some of these athletes are like caricatures of their signs. Yes. So yes. All right, man. Right I'll talk to you soon. All right. Awesome yeah. stuff. See you on Instagram. All right, man. See you, bud. Good night, chat. It's been a pleasure. Had a great time, everybody. Oh, saw you move, Spencer. LOL. Yeah, you did, didn't you? Yeah. Saw you move. Thanks. Great show. I got 10% battery. Sunday. Yeah, who's going to a Bach Tower? I don't know if I can make it. It's my father-in-law's birthday. Mm -hmm. don't forget the Bach tower meetup guys if you can make it please go i wrote a song about it i'll play it for you guys sometime if you haven't heard it i went there i came home ate a little psilocybin and wrote a song about Bach tower all right take lots of pics with child yes i have tons of pics with the child i don't share it i used to be into some crazy stuff online um, when it comes to the freedom and sovereignty stuff and, and like very conspiratorial turned into crazy freedom and sovereignty. So I don't, I don't show my kid online or anything like that. And I don't post <laughs> where I sleep and stuff like that. Definitely going to go one day myself. Oh, Bok Tower guys. It's a vortex. Don't forget. It's a vortex. That's where the, the natives, the Indians want to bury, you know, their, their people there, all that stuff. It's, it's incredible biggest Carillion Bell archive in the world. You can't get into the archive in Bach Tower. They've got, um, you got to be a Freemason. You got to be in the, some club or something to get in there. I bet there's more than just the Carillion Bell uh, music in there. Thanks for the reminder. What's up, guys? Spencer's holding it down. I don't know hey, that. What, are you, what are you doing on my show? We're talking about Bach Tower. I said I might not make it, but I did write a song about it last time I went. Um, my, yeah, I my, don't, know, don't know what happened there, but we're going to sign off. Yep. Spencer, all good. Spencer from Florida. Go check him out. TikTok, Instagram, yep. Twitter too, right? But uh, No, no I, don't, I don't have time for right. any more, man. I got Whatever. time for you, you, you and the other two. True. So Al Dog, author of The Charter. You find him on this channel and his YouTube channel. He's on Twitter too and Instagram. And Jimmy Stingray, my right hand man. You can find him on the channel. Yeah. Astro Chads. We're gonna be going live again around April twenty first for the beginning of Taurus. Yeah, Spence? Yeah, yeah. I was reading the chat. Sorry, bud. Cool. That's all right. All right, good night, everyone. Have a good night. Good night, chat. Peace. Thanks, Longo. Thanks for, for texting me earlier, bud. Of course.